Get my chapstick. And I won't, I barely made it today. Oh, why do I have you guys down here? Why do I have you down there? Let's go to just chatting. Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We're going to play some Strange Town Saturday. Let me just ping the Discord here. I had one of those mornings where I like barely thought I was going to make it because I, I ended up oversleeping and then it was a whole thing. I just now got out of the shower. <laughs> but I'm here. I made it. I made it. Only one minute late. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for the nine months at tier one, Hendrick. Thank you. A one babby sub. Thank you so much. Hello, Anna. So glad you could make it. And hello, everybody. Okay, so I got the game pulled up here. I'm just loading up Strange Town, figuring out where we are. So I believe in our last stream, we just finished the Smith family. And now we are on to the grunts. So this is Buzz and Kristen and Floyd, I believe. <laughs> My spreadsheet is not accurate. <laughs> Thank you so much for the six months at tier one snowy Oreo and I will hydrate. I have to drink my tea this morning because I didn't even have time to drink my tea. Usually I drink, I go outside. We take Laszlo outside in the morning and he like freaks out if he doesn't get to go outside for his 15 minutes every morning. We take him out in the backyard and we sit in the backyard and drink our tea. But this morning I didn't have time so I have to drink my tea on the stream. This is my medicinal tea. This is my spearmint tea, which I hope is helping my hair grow back. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think it's working. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for the 11-month Prime sub, Nikki. Uh, thank you so much for the 8-month uh, Tier 1 sub, Mediocre Best. Thank you, guys. And thank you for the 4-month Prime sub, Triffid91. And we got a beg for gift sub from Andries. A-A-N-D-R-I-I-S, if anybody feels generous. And uh, what? who else we have here? What else we got here? Thank you so much for the 10 months at tier two to loan in. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for the 100 bits, Becky. Thank you. Thank you for uh, gifting a sub to Andres Anna. Thank you so much. Uh, I got I got a beg for gifts up from Soya2k and Bjork92, if anybody feels generous in the chat. Hype Train is really hyped up today. Hype Train is ready for Strange Town, and so am I. I'm ready. I just loaded freaking Pleasant View. <laughs> I just loaded Pleasant View. I got Pleasant View on the brain, y'all. I'm sorry. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the menu and load Strange Town. Oops. That was just habit. Like, my brain just goes to, stra to uh, Pleasant View, no matter what. I gotta go load Strange Town. Sorry. <laughs> You're playing Pleasant View right now? Uh, thank you so much for the seven month prime sub in for undead. Thank you for gifting a sub to Bjork92, small cat woman. Thank you for the four months at tier one. Mer Mar M R T in Martinster. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. Thank you for the hot drinks. Thank you, thank you. That settles it, we're playing Pleasant View. I got a lot of thanks to do here while I get Strange Town pulled up. Okay, thank you for the Prime Sub Lucy Wa 2C87. Thank you for gifting a sub to Soya 2K, Anna. Uh, thank you for the seven month Prime Sub M4 Undead. Uh, I think I got everybody there. Thank you for gifting a sub to Bjork92, Small Cat Woman. Thank you for the six month prime sub, huge lunatic, and the four month prime sub at Lean Plays. Thank you guys, I really appreciate that. We got the hype train going today. The hype train is on level four, dang. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, are my things going off the side of the screen there? Jeez Louise. I don't know, I guess your name's just too long. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Cabernet. Thank you for gifting a sub Cabernet 88 to 20 bit homo. And uh, thank you for the six month prime sub Luna Temple. Thank you so much. And thank you for the two months at tier one moon work. 
I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. I'm trying to keep up. Thank you for the five month prime sub, Goo King. Thank you. Long, long name. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm in. I'm in Strange Town, so I'm about to pull you over. Um, and we're going to the Grunts. We're going to the Grunts today. Thank you so much uh, for converting your prime sub to a tier one sub, Little Squid Ink. You've been looking forward to it since at least last night. Well, thank you. <laughs> long, long man. I love that sax. I love that sexy sax. <laughs> thank you for the long, long man. And thank you for the uh, seven months at tier one, Mariah Queen. Thank you for the 100 bits, Tristez. Thank you for the two months at tier one, Silo Psyduck. Uh, happy Saturday to you too. And thank you for the five months at tier one, Sasha Cats. Okay, I'm going to the game before we get any more. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, there's another one, Sasha Cat. Okay. I know so much love this morning. You guys are so generous. Oh, we got level five hype train. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Gotta drink my tea. I gotta drink my tea before it gets hot. Before before it gets hot. Before it gets cold. I got my hot drinks. I got my hot drinks. I went to Wendy's the other day and I was so tempted. Man, I gotta dance every time. When you feel you're slowing. Wendy's, we always serve it right away. Add a smile and have a nice day. I was so tempted to sing hot drinks to them at the drive-thru. I wanted to do it. I should have done it. <laughs> I should have done it. Uh, thank you so much for the five months at tier one Simmer Girl 83. I oh I gotta hydrate there. Let me hydrate with my tea. I know I thought I gotta do it, get it on video if I do it. I gotta do it. Uh, I gotta ask me anything from Nathan. How do I feel now when I make Let's Play videos on Pleasant View? I feel fan freaking tastic, Nathan. Thank you very much. I love making the Pleasant View Let's Plays. Um, I am so back into Pleasant View right now. I really am. I love it. I love it. They're fun. They're fun to make. I enjoy making them. It doesn't feel like a chore to me. Like sometimes when I used to make the Sims 4 videos, even like the comparison videos and stuff, they're a lot of dull work and it feels like work. But the Pleasant View videos do not feel like work. They feel like pure joy from my heart to yours. So I hope you enjoy them. The tiny fraction of my audience who chooses to watch them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh God, oh, they're, you know, floof. They're not doing great in terms of stats, um, but I knew they wouldn't. Like every one of the video, every one of my three Pleasant View videos I put out so far has been like eight out of 10 or nine out of 10. <laughs> compared to my last 10 videos so but i expected that i knew that was going to be the case and i don't care because those are the videos i love to make and someday you know i will make other videos too i'm not just going to only make pleasant view let's plays for the rest of my life like i will make other videos too tutorials maybe even some commentary videos and stuff if i find something that i want to talk about so i'm not that concerned about it um thank you so much for the eight month prime sub j survivor uh, I think I got everybody there. Yes, I have been vaccinated. I talked about it in the last stream. I talked about it at length in the last stream. And uh, thank you for the two month prime sub yellow meanie. All right, guys. So I am gonna load, where are you? Where are you grunts? Where are you grunts? Oh, you're over here on the edge. You're on the edge of nowhere. <laughs> We're on the road to nowhere. Come on inside. Anybody know that song, Talking Heads? Okay, we're going in. Every time I see Road to Nowhere, I think of the Talking Heads, which I love the Talking Heads, by the way. Uh, thank you so much for the six months at Tier 1, Jillian Kim. And thank you guys for Hype Train Level 5, 26 get subs, and 600 bits. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. We also have a beg for gift sub from Jasmine, Jasmine Lilac, if anybody feels generous. Uh, and thank you for the five month prime sub, Lady McGuffin. Aw, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, 
Real, real Ruzel. Thank you so much. Uh, real Ruzel says, I know your stats aren't doing well with your Let's Plays. That's why I choose to support you and subscribe. Thank you very much. Um, I have considered, somebody suggested on one of my latest Let's Plays to reopen my Patreon, and I have considered doing that with just like a $1 tier. Like you can, anybody can just donate what they want. Cause I think that would kind of help me out a little bit. I don't know, I'm thinking about doing it, but with like no extra content or anything, just like, do you want to donate a dollar to me? <laughs> donate a dollar to me. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub working camera. And my favorite Girl Scout cookie, I do not like Girl Scout cookies. I don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. They're crappy. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> hey everybody. Uh I know, I know. And I and you know, I don't care. I don't care. I love making the let's play, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep making them. I don't care. <laughs> it's what I love to do. Uh thank you so much for the 6 month prime sub spazzed out mess. And thank you for gifting a sub to Jasmine Lilac Anna. Thank you so much. The gluten-free ones are good, really? I didn't even know they made gluten-free ones. Do they make gluten-free ones now? Of course they do. Of course they do, Cindy. Uh, thank you so much for the 200 bits, Jillian Kim. <laughs> I love, I love talking heads so much. Uh, thank you so much for the four month prime sub, Honey Bunny Sims. Okay, I know it's 2021 and we're all gluten-free. I'm not gluten-free at all in any way, shape, or form. I just ate a piece of toast. I got what I've been eating for breakfast, y'all. I got this. They have this new bread. It's cinnamon swirl bread, and it's by Pepperidge Farm. Oh, my God. It's so good because it's like cinnamon toast, but it's not so sweet. Like, it doesn't. it's not sugary. It just has, like, the cinnamon flavor in the bread. It is so good. Highly recommend. <laughs> Highly recommend it. They also have a strawberry swirl that I tried, which was really good, but the cinnamon's better. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Cin oh my God. I love that cinnamon sugar butter at Texas Roadhouse, Nikki. I love that stuff. How are we getting on the food talk right away? <laughs> I'm not even hungry either. I just had breakfast. Oh my God. It was so funny. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bit silly Soraya. And oh, I got another hydrate. I gotta drink this tea. Okay, so let's see what's going on here in the game, y'all. Oh, thanks so much, Red Light Bulb. I'm so glad you like the Let's Plays. Because I'm having so much fun making them. And uh, I can make more of those, too. Because those don't take me as long to make as, like, the other types of videos, too. Oh, they have more than one Girl Scout cookie factory, apparently. I had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> You're starving and this isn't helping. I'm so sorry. Oh, you don't have Pepperidge Farm in France? Um, if I use any mods to make the lighting better. No, I do not use any lighting mods whatsoever. No, I don't. I just, I like Maxis lighting. I like the Maxis lighting and that's what I use. I just use default lighting. <laughs> yeah, this house needs remodeling. It's exactly the same as it was. I don't think we've done anything to this house at all. Like nothing. This house is exactly the same. The only thing I've done is added a desk or something. Um, but we'll get to that. Right now, they don't have a ton of money. So we've got a General Buzz here. General Buzz, well, you know General Buzz. He, need, he, has, he needs no introduction. And he is sleeping here with his lover, Kristen. Now, Kristen, they have not wanted to get married. What does this want? Get Floyd into, oh, she wants to get Floyd into private school. We're going to try to do that. We're going to try to do that. Um, let me drink my tea. I just can't be bothered with lighting mods. It's a lot of work and I don't care that much. <laughs> I honestly don't care that much. Maybe someday <laughs> I'll try it. Um, okay, so this is uh, General Buzz. Like I said, they have a child together. General Buzz and Kristen have a child together. His name is Floyd. Where are you, Floyd? Floyd! He's in, oh, he's getting in the tub. He's getting in the bathtub. He's taking a bath. Um, he wants to do his homework because he's a good boy. He's a good boy. And he is, let's see, he's got a C in school. Not too bad. He's got a charisma skill point. Thank you so much for the five month prime sub, Dottie Oz. Thank you. I'm doing great. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so Floyd, we're gonna work on his homework. It's 6.37 a.m. He's gotta go to school today. Why didn't, why wouldn't you go to the bathroom before you took a bath? I don't know. But anyway, Kristen and Floyd moved in with General Buzz, but they are not married and they are not engaged. They just live together and they're in love. They have two bolts of chemistry. And then we also have, of course, our lovely Buck Grunt. Oh my God, is Buck gonna age up today? Shoot. I'm gonna have to add a college because we I have added a college already to Strange Town and we've had some Sims go to that college, but it doesn't have any townies in it. And I found out that that sucks. <laughs> it doesn't have any dormies. So our Sims who went, they were just all alone. So if Buck wants to go to college, y'all, we're going to have to add, we're going to have to re-add the college with the, with the, um, townies in it. So I don't think we have anybody in college right now. So I think, I want dormies. I want dormies because let me tell you, it just sucks if you send your kid, if you send your Sim to college and there's nobody there for them to interact with. Nobody. Nobody for them to make friends with. Nobody for them to study with. They're just there and the campus is completely empty. And I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Lafayette Tech. Yeah, it's Lafayette Tech. I always send my strange town to Lafayette Tech. Mm -hmm. Tank has moved out on his own. Tank, Tank moved out on his own. And Rip is also out on his own. So the only one still at home is Buck. And Buck is 16 years old, so he's going to age up in two days. Yeah. Yeah, completely empty, <laughs> empty canvas. I have no dormy regen. Yeah, of course I have that. Of course I have that. <laughs> what do you think I am, a noob? <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to remove no dormy regen because I don't want random dormies. I don't want randos. I want the dormies that come with the um, hood. I want the pre-made ones. Okay. <laughs> so we're getting rid of the empty one. And I'm going to add a new one that has the townies in it. No dormies. Sounds like you're kind of university. You, I don't know if there's a college from home mod. Um, I know there are mods where you're, where your students can live in their neighbor in the neighborhood and go to college, but those seem really wonky to me, and I'm not that I'm not that keen on trying them out. Yeah, seems like a pain in the ass to me too. <laughs> imagine not using La Fiesta Tech for Strange Town. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. So uh, General Buzz, we're gonna get him. Does he have to go to work today? Let's first of all let's check his work schedule. Uh, yes, he has to go to work at 10 a.m. He wants to gain a skill point. He wants to gain a creativity skill point, really? What is his hobby? Sports? Sports. And let's see, have we rolled sub-hobbies for this family? Yes. Buzz's sub-hobby is boxing. Uh, Tank was stargazing, but he's gone. Buck is weather. His hobby's weather. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about this. It's the shittiest hobby ever. And then, <laughs> and then I don't know what Kristen's is. I don't think we... Hers is painting. Hers is painting. And then Floyd, uh, we don't know Floyd's hobby, so we're going to be working on that too. We'll try to figure out what his hobby is. I know, we need more science stuff. And I don't like to, like some people convert some of the other things to be science, but I don't like to take away from my other hobbies to add to science. I need something that just adds science that doesn't take away from the other hobbies. Your husband's hobby is weather too. It might be a great hobby in real life, but I don't know about The Sims. <laughs> uh, General Buzz has a secondary aspiration of fortune. I'm actually going to give him... I, n I almost never give my Sims the life of look the work tree. I'm going to give him these. And then Kristen is uh, romance, secondary romance, which I hate secondary romance. Um... But that's what that's what we've got. That's what we're working with. Thank you so much for the tier one sub, Pisces ninety three, and thank you for the uh, giving out the five gift subs, Real Russell. Thank you so much for giving out those five gift subs to Nicola Louise, Initial Squid, Pink Bay, Pink Bay, Stella Real Real Relighten P. 
<laughs> I don't know. Stellar. I don't know how what that is. Stella, thank you. And <laughs> Maybelline, Maybelline, thank you. Whenever you guys give gift subs and it tells me the names of the gift subs, it usually splits them up into two lines. And I can't read what the hell the names are. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, no, no, no. No, I do not wish to exit and cancel all streams. No, no. Okay, never mind. It's not going to let me show you. Um, but anyway, I can't read what the names are because they're all broken up into multiple lines. So that's why I sound like an idiot when I'm trying to read those out. I just need to make my ta I just need to make my boxes bigger. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> it's too late. I already fixed it. Oh no, no, I fixed it. But now I can't see the rest of my screen. <laughs> what am I? What have I done? Okay, there we go. I'm good. I'm good. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do here is, I guess, get General Buzz ready for work. And he, he I'm going to have him serve some breakfast. Go make some grits for your children. Go make some grits for your children, General Buzz, after you drink your drink. Okay, Floyd has to be at school in an hour. Kristen has a day off today. So Kristen works uh, as an intern level four in the medical career. She's doing quite well for herself, though. Aw, thanks so much, Squeech Leech. <laughs> and thank you for the tier one sub queerfully. Thank you so much. Great, we have no freaking groceries. Okay, we're in big trouble now. We gotta order some groceries or somebody's gotta go to the grocery store. Uh, oh my God, Kristen's starving. All right, we gotta order some food immediately. Where's the phone in this place? Where's the phone? <laughs> there it is, on the counter. I never look for the phone on the counter. Um, let's call delivery and let's get some groceries here ASAP. Come on. Your woman's gonna starve to death over there. We're just gonna order groceries. We don't have time to go out. And we're gonna, let's fill it up. Fill up the fridge, a whole 448 simoleons worth. That's a lot of groceries for one week. We could order pizza, but I'm not gonna. Breakfast pizza. Order Chinese for breakfast. Ew. Ew. Um, so he'll be all right. He'll be all right. He wants to reach creativity level one. Gain a skill point. Do we have a an easel? See how fast the groceries come? Man, that is super fast. I don't think we have an easel. We need to get an easel for Kristen. Unless I missed it. Um, I don't think we do. She also painted this. She painted this picture before she moved here and we brought it with her. Uh, thank you so much for giving out 10 gift subs, Alterius. Thank you so very much uh, for giving those 10 gift subs to Renfree13, Liesl Mary. Ho hold up. I'm going to finish reading them. I got to get somebody to take this. <laughs> Accept this delivery, please. Oh, he was already going. Okay, never mind. Uh, B Hurst 06, Ethan Pierce 0318, Zyri, All of the Great, Mima Bear, Sakura Blossom 44, CT Control Maya, and Shy Rose 30. Thank you so much, Alterius. Did you get those groceries, boy? You get those groceries. What are you doing? Hurry up. And now I'm worried that Kristen is prego. I have no idea if she is. You got an ad for Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Let me get those groceries. Let me get those groceries, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Kristen's going to starve to death. Oh, she's going to take a shower. You need me food. You can be stinky and eat food. I'm going to have her serve some oatmeal. Just get out of there. Oh, General Buzz is serving. Never mind. General Buzz is making breakfast, I think. I don't know. I don't know. She's hungry. Just get some juice. No. No, not you. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> not you. You may, you prepare. Okay, crap. All right. You prepare that. You get juice. For God's sake. My Sims are all going to die. Okay, pull yourself together, I know. Okay, the kids went to school, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, General Buzz is now leaving to go to work. Why are, what? I don't 
understand why he didn't finish cooking that. Just get out of here, Buzz, okay? Just get out. We'll take care of Kristen ourselves. Micromanaging at its finest. Micromanaging at its worst. So I'm gonna let her drink this just to get something in her. And then I'm gonna see if she can resume cooking this. I do the same thing, Carrie. I, I'm like, oh, this is too chaotic. I'm gonna move to, I'm gonna log off or, or exit or move to another family. And then I come back and I'm like, oh my God, it's just chaos. <laughs> you do, you have to tell yourself that, Mike. You have to tell yourself sometimes you have to be like, self, get your shit together. <laughs> you think she's pregante? Oh, we'll have another little grunt baby coming along. I don't remember if they woohooed or when was the last time they woohooed or anything. So I guess we'll find out. Now cook that food. Cook that food, Kristen. Uh, I don't know what she was making there. A fruit. Looks like a fruit parfait. She's chopping up some fruit. <laughs> She's going to grunt out that baby. <laughs> he needs a special general toupee when he goes to work. No, they're not married. They're not married. They just live together and they're raising their child together, but that's it. Uh, so Kristen's the only one here today. We're going to make sure that we feed her well. And then I guess we can start working on uh, skill points for her. So she wants to get a cleaning, a mechanical, and a logic. All of which she needs to get promoted. So that's perfect. <laughs> yes, she's living in unmarried sin, as Lucy Burb Bloom would say. <laughs> Yeah, she is really pretty. Oh, you want to do a prediction if she's pregnant? Okay. All right. Let me do prediction. Or we'll, I guess we can do um, if she'll get pregnant. Is she pregnant now or will she get pregnant? Will Kristen be prego? Yes or no? That's our prediction for today. I'm going to give you two minutes to put in your predictions just in case she is and she starts showing signs. All right, there you go. <laughs> I'm glad to see you back, Mary. Yeah, you missed a lot, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, nine months at tier one, so Florin. Thank you very much. <laughs> you downloaded The Sims 2 so you could create your own hood to fill with Sims and watch them mate like rabbits. That's what I'm doing with Nutley. That's what I wanted to do too. I'm like, I don't care about businesses. I just want to fill this sucker up with Sims and watch them breed. <laughs> like some weird, sick experiment. Oh, God. Mods should be able to participate, Kira. And I don't think they turned that off. They didn't tell me if they did. Um, all right, let's get her into... Actually, I want to have her take a bath for the comfort. Oh, and this filthy... Clean this first and then take a bath. I don't want to take a bath next to the filthy toilet. <laughs> I know, I can't badmouth Cersei. I know, I'm the same way. <laughs> Alright, she's going to clean the, the toilet. Which is just my word for toilet now. It's completely invaded my vocabulary. Woohoo! Do 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 do! Woohoo! I love that song too by Blur, where they say woohoo. I don't know the words. And you say nothing at all. Woohoo! You called it the shitter. Yeah, I call it the shitter sometimes too because of that meme. The shitter's clogged meme. Uh, thank you so much for the host, Kimbo Weenie, and welcome, viewers. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a save game and a hydrate. Okay, let me hydrate first. And my tea's almost gone. I'm gonna have to pee. Yes, I do say turlet in real life. I do. I just say it now. That's what I say now. The kitty shitter. <laughs> I love that. I love the kitty shitter. All right, let's save game. <laughs> Woohoo! I love that song. Now I want to hear that song. I'm going to have to listen to that after the stream. I wish I could play it on the stream. But damn copyright won't copyright law won't allow it. 
You love that song too? Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I remember when it came out in the 90s, I think. Um, I remember the video where he's wearing the Mickey Mouse shirt. I love that video. It's a banger and a Sims 2 anthem, exactly. Poop maker? I think that's what you call your butt. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that the turlet the poop maker. The turlet is the poop receiver. Um, okay, she needs more food. She needs more food. I think she might be prego. I don't know. Your colon is the poop maker. <laughs> it is. Latrine. Latrine sounds so fancy. It sounds so fancy schmancy to me. The latrine. Um, okay, we're gonna reset her. What's what happened to her? What happened to her? What? Um Okay. No, stop resetting. What's wrong with you? She's doing the Macarena? Why does she keep resetting? I don't understand. Oh, it's when I hover? Oh. Usually that problem only happens when you have that one file in it. I don't think I have that. Um, did I install any new mods? No. I don't think I did. Let me check when the last mod I installed was. Let me see what I installed last. Who knows anymore? Um, mods. Have department rent was the last thing, and I did no buy gender preference decrease. That was the, those were the last ones I installed, so those shouldn't cause a problem. Um, yeah, I have no idea why she's doing that. Very strange. Well, hopefully I'll just keep from hovering over her. I I'm going to try not to delete her, but if I have to, I will. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's put away the food, the leftovers. And she needs some social, too. She's here all by herself all day. She wants to talk to Buzz, but we need to take care of her social and then we can start working on skills. So who should she call? Chloe. She's already friends with Chloe. She's next closest to being friends with Odette. <laughs> and Buck and General Fuzz. Don't forget about General Fuzz. General Fuzz went with Tank though. And then I guess Lola. She can call Lola and talk to her. Yeah, I change gender preference for teens. I do, I just, when they age up to teens, I just randomize their gender preference right then using a sim blender. Okay, call up Lola. She's not home. All right, who are we gonna, who are we gonna call now? Uh, Aaron Beaker. What are you, ex oh my God, she's too tired. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Energy's more important than social. Jeez, Cindy. Uh, Floyd just got home and his grades are slipping because he didn't do his homework. Oh God, we're gonna have to do his homework today. And yeah, we're gonna have to put the, we're gonna have to do the college before Buck ages up. Nobody else is aging up, right? No. Uh, all right, Floyd, Buck is losing enthusiasm about science. I'm gonna try, okay, I'm gonna try to give him more science enthusiasm. But let's have Floyd do his homework after he uses the turlet. We gotta get those grades up, Floyd. You gotta do well if you're gonna be, if you're General Buzz's son, you gotta do well in school. Don't be a loser like your half-brother Rip. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, go use the bathroom. Uh, thank you so much for the four months at tier one, Honey Bunches B23. Thank you. All right, we're going to the toilet and then we're going to do homework. And let's check in on uh, Buck here. He just wants to have five best friends and he wants to age, grow up well. 
I'm not going to lock anything in right now because I want to give him a chance to decide to go to college. But he has to roll that on his 18th birthday. Um, as, for, as for having five best friends, he obviously is best friends with Jill, with his brother Floyd, and with General Buzz. He's close to being best friends with Rip, so I guess I'll have him call and talk to Rip or something. General Buzz is home. Let's no, don't sleep in pajamas. He's in there checking himself out. Um, so we're gonna call. What's his face? Rip. And then let's go check on General Buzz, who just got home. Hello, Tycho. Tycho's out here looking, looking sly, looking sleek, looking fine. Let me. I just every time I see him, I have to look at him. I just have to be like, Tycho, let me see your gorgeous face. Let me see that beautiful face. Yeah, yeah, Tycho looking good. <laughs> I love you, Tycho. Carry on, carry on. I just needed to admire you for a moment. Um, let's pay these bills, buddy. Let's pay these bills. <laughs> the face only a mother can love. <laughs> Um, I did, I actually had a note, Johan, I had a note to randomize uh, Tessa's gender preference when I got back to her, but it's too late because she's already involved with Sam, like you said, so her gender preference is set. Um, okay, who am I calling? Oh, Rip, where are you? There you are. Um, just talk, just chat, just chat with your bro. <laughs> And General Buzz, what are we going to do with you now? Be friends with Blair, toss football, invite someone over. Ugh, popularity, I swear. Gain a skill point. Let's, why don't we just go in and take care of your needs and then we'll deal with you. Um, go to the bathroom, take a shower. You have no wants I care about. <laughs> and let's check in on little Floyd. He's in here doing his homework. He wanted to ask for homework help, but there was like nobody available for him to ask. So he's just doing it on his own. He's doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Tycho's the only person that can pull off tiger print. <laughs> I like Tycho. He's, he, he and his cousin are the only ones that have the smushed up faces because they were born before I got the pollination technician replacement thing. Yes, I know, you need to have fun. How much of your homework did you do? 56%, that's not enough to pass. Okay, let's do some jump rope. He wants to jump rope, so we'll do that for fun. Come, okay, come on, child. Come on now. Well then go outside, what is wrong with you? Here. I have to make him go outside and then tell him to jump rope. I hate it when they do that too. It's like, God, I get it. Just shut up. <laughs> yeah, Buzz could help him, but he wasn't available at the time. And now he has to have fun before he can do any more homework. Okay, so let's jump rope easy. And let's check in. Okay, you're still in the shower. Uh, Kristen's still sleeping. Oh, fitness is his hobby. Okay, let me write this down, y'all. Fitness. Where are you, Floyd? You're not even on my spreadsheet, Floyd. You're not even, you don't even exist. Floyd, um, fitness. And we're gonna have to roll uh, for his, we're gonna have to roll for his sub hobby. Only two days left before Buck's birthday. Wait, do I have his aging off? I have his aging off. Why do I have his aging off? Does anybody remember? Why do I ha why do I have his aging off? I don't remember why, but I'm going to turn it back on. Oh, so I can put in a university. Um, well, Jill didn't go to college, so I guess that doesn't matter. We're going to let him go if he wants to. <laughs> okay. And you, okay, you're having fun. Is he getting fun from this? Yeah, he is, just not very much. He wants to be swung around. Let's have Buck come out here and swing him around. Maybe that'll give him more fun. Stop that. 
And then, okay, Kristen's okay. Uh, General Buzz is okay. General Buzz wants to buy a painting. Let's do it. Let's buy a painting for this god-awful house. Um, did he say how much he wanted it to be worth or just a painting? Just a painting. Any painting will do. What kind of painting do we want and where shall we put it? Let me put the walls up. I like it when my Sims want to buy things. Um, there's already a painting in there. There's a painting in there. Is there a painting in their bedroom? No, they could use a painting in the bedroom, I guess. Okay, let's see. What can we put in here? I don't feel like General Buzz would be the kind of guy who would have, like, abstract art. I feel like he would have a very specific type of art in his house. Um, like, landscapes and stuff. That's what, I, that's what I'm feeling from him. And although this one, this one's small, we're gonna put that one in there. There you go. 500 simoleons for that. It matches his bedroom. There you are. There you are. And he wants to invite someone over. Be friends with Blair. Be friends with Johnson. How many friends does he need? Oh no, he's at level 10. He doesn't need any friends. So who are we gonna invite over? I guess we'll invite over one of these dudes. Call, we're gonna invite one of them over for dinner, I guess. Or hang it out, I don't know. Buck's age is fine, I don't care that much. He doesn't need any friends, nope. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he'd have no art either, but he wanted art, so. Who am I to say? Who am I to say? Okay, I know he wants to be friends with Johnson and also Blair. We'll call Blair. Invite over. I'll lock that in. Maybe he can become friends with him. Let's check on the boys outside. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Okay, great. Thank you. Come on over. I don't know what we're going to do when you get here. You, Buck has a D in school. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. He might not make it to college. Um, and you, that's enough. That's enough swinging for God's sake. That's enough swinging. He needs to go inside and eat. He also wants to be friends with Jade. Oh, I like that. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Must have taken ages to animate. Yeah, probably so. I think Blair is gay. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, Keo. He would have tacky patriotic art with bald eagles and guns on it. Mm hmm He totally would. I don't have any of that in my game. What do you do? Oh, he's cooling himself off on the vent. I love it. I love it. He's cooling himself off. He got hot out there. Oh, Blair's by. Okay. Blair's by. He's having a good look at he's having a good cool off there. <laughs> <laughs> Murica, exactly. A bald eagle with a gun and a flag. There you go. There you go. On the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Hello, John. I know I love that one too. They're going to play red hands together. Okay, you need to eat too. Why don't you go have yourself a sub? Go make yourself a sub. And you did your did Blair ever get here? Here he is. Love we'll General Buzz going great. Greet him. No, come here. Greet Blair. Greet Blair. <laughs> there goes David Gibson. <laughs> yep, it's Blair Mace. All right, you're just gonna invite your friend over, and then you're gonna start doing yard work. That's great. Why don't you go talk to your friend, actually? Um, let's go tell him a joke. I don't know if General Buzz knows any jokes, but we're gonna try. He's got a, a relationship of this guy of eight over six. So it's gonna take a lot of work to be friends with him. He just randomly wants to be friends with this guy. 
I know there's so many good animations in The Sims 2. I re they really did a great job animating the game, in my opinion. Oh, where the door is the door sticking open? I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, it sure is. It sure is. We'll move that back. Uh, I want to turn quarter tile placement on so I can move it, so I can center it better. There we go. It'll close next time somebody uses it. And let's check on little Floyd and also Kristen. Where is Kristen? Okay, she's doing fine. She's going to be up all night now. She's totally going to be up all night. And she has to work at 9 a.m. Um, unless she gets a baby bump. Unless she gets a baby bump. We'll see. Floyd, he still needs to have fun. He still needs to finish his homework. And it's 9 p.m. Um, his hobby was fitness. We need to roll for his secondary hobby real quick so I can see uh, what, we, what we're working with here. So for fitness hobbies, I have five different fitness hobbies, swimming, skating, lifting, cardio, and yoga. Um, so I'm going to go to random.org and I'm going to roll one through five. We're going to find out what his hobby is. Four, cardio, jogging, and jump rope. That's his hobby. Cardio. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible hobby to me, but you know what? Floyd likes it. Floyd likes it. Fitness, cardio. Um, so he can go jump rope some more. But you know what? He's getting really tired. I think I'm just going to send him to bed tonight. He can do that tomorrow. Which one of these is your room, kid? I don't even... Wh which one of these do you sleep in? I don't know. Sleep in that one. He has nothing of his own. I don't care where you sleep. It's like a barracks in here. <laughs> he seems like the type to do cardio. Ooh, turns out I'm your boss's cousin. I'm phoning, phoning in a favor. You'll be getting a promotion. He's already at level 10. Thanks anyway, Blair. I appreciate that. I appreciate your uh, using your military ties there. <laughs> Job level 11. Yeah. Oh, did what? Did you just kiss him? Did they just kiss? <laughs> did they just kiss? I think he just I think he just kissed his dad, which I do not feel like General Buzz would go for the uh, kiss with the son. A manly family kiss, yes. Okay, we got a meme time over there. Oh no, we got a commercial break. Oh God, we got a commercial break. Okay, let me save. <laughs> I know. Let me smell your breath with my breath. Ew, ew. Oh. Okay, uh, let's find a commercial, y'all. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> Marta has a great idea. One dollar on Patreon for one marshmallow. <laughs> yes, a single marshmallow. I'm sorry. I'm looking for commercials. I'm not reading my chat. I swear. Um, I'm going to look at their relationship, but I think their relationship is better now. Okay, well, we've seen it before, so we're going to, but we're going to watch it again. We got a classic on our hands today, y'all. Wedgie board. Who's ready to watch some wedgie board today? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, stop it. I know I am. I know I am. I'm ready for wedgie board. Here we go. Here we go. And if you haven't seen this, you're in for a treat. What is a wega board? How do you make a wiggy board? How do you feel about oigy boards? Oigy. How to ojo board works? How we can do plan chit with thought using ooja board? Is it dangerous to play oigy board? Wujij board? My wujis board is cussing me out. Is the wajja board online fake or real? It's the wajja i real game. How we can able to play wejo board? Wejji board or whatever? How do I find out if they're a ghost in my house without using a weggy board? A wiggy board game? What happens? When I was a kid, I used to mess about with a quiche board. Wa weg board. Is that how you spell the evil game thing? Wa weg board. Nailed it. Luigi board? The Luigi board? Making a Luigi board? Have you played the Luigi board? Can you burn a Luigi board? What is a Luigi board? My friends did a Luigi board. 
and it mentioned me? How do Luigi boards work? <laughs> Are Luigi boards dangerous if you ask something about ghosts? What's up with the Luigi board game? Is it creepy or what is it possible to die for playing this game? Oh, help Quidja. Do Quidja boards actually <laughs> work? Ouija. Quidja board experiences? Ouija? Help pulls. Ouija board. Wega board. Help pulls? Pulls help. Quidja board. Wega board. Pulls help? Help pulls. Quidja board. Wega board. Help pulls. How to use wedgie board. And is it real? Do wedgie board really work? And if so, what happened? Where do I obtain a wedgie, wedgie board? board? Do I have to make my own wedgie or can I buy one from a witch or vegan? Witches are vegans in the chat. We need a wedgie board. <laughs> Stats. <laughs> thank you so much. That's that's so good. It's so good. Thank you for uh, thank you for sharing that one once again. We never get tired of the wedgie board. So if you if I know some people ask where does the joke come from? Is it a witch or a vegan? That's where it came from. Came from wedgie board. So if you see somebody in chat asking <laughs> asking for a witch or a vegan, that's why. <laughs> yeah it's so funny <laughs> you're selling luigi boards in here witch or vegan here i love it you're not a witch and you're not a vegan you're a witch or a vegan P take your pick take your pick <laughs> oh that's so funny that's hilarious oh uh, rest in peace rest in peace yahoo answers Rest in peace. <laughs> That's the the highlight of our society there. <laughs> wedgie board sounds like something a 90s bully would use. <laughs> it does. You're getting a wedgie board. <laughs> yes, we need a, we need merch that says I need a witch or a vegan. <laughs> we do. Okay, what's go what's going on here? Kristen's waking up. She's waking up. She needs some social. Why don't you go socialize with your man? <laughs> go socialize with uh, General Buzz. Let's just go talk. Just just chat with him. Just tell him about your day. How you ate fruit parfait and slept all day. Yahoo Answers is a loss for the culture. It really is. <laughs> Nope, no baby bump, y'all. I don't know. I don't think she's prego. What? Oh, hello, Blair. You need to back off his his girl there. Blair was like, "Oh, you looking good, Kristen." Uh oh, they're not getting along too well. Well, if you think she's so hot, give her some interesting conversation. Damn it! Are they gonna flirt? And let me check in on the kids. All right, we need to take care of you, buddy. You need to go. Uh, go to the bathroom, take a shower, and you need to go to sleep. And it's grown-up time down here. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? No, General Buzz did not make friends with him. They only have a 12 over 6 relationship, so he didn't make very much progress there at all. Yeah, she wants to go on a date, but it's late, and he's going to have to go to bed soon. So that's why I'm not sending them on a date right now. He's got to go to bed. Although I guess it would increase his energy if we did send him on a date. Yeah, they need to go to the bar. I agree. Let's, uh, we'll lock that in. So as soon as we get a chance when it's not like 11 o'clock at night, um, cause she's got to go to work tomorrow too. They can go down to the bar cause we haven't been there yet. And I gotta be honest, I'm not completely happy with the interior of the bar. I think I want to work on it some more, um, but we can still use it for now. It's usable for now. You know what? Let's get some food. Why don't you serve some dinner? Um, make some, just make some subs. I don't know what your cooking skill is. Nothing. Okay, good. Make subs. But Tina, we made subs. <laughs> the bar is unique and you love it and we love it. Yes, we do. But I still think I might be able to do a little bit better. Like when we did the church the other day, I was just a mess, y'all. I was a mess. But after I got off the stream, I was able to fix it. And I, I really like how the Pleasant View Church turned out. If you saw it in my latest video, it turned I think it turned out pretty good. He gained a cooking skill. Woohoo want? Where? Who had a woohoo want? Nobody. <laughs> Maybe eventually they'll get one. Alright, you're sleeping. You're sleeping. 
You're, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat with Blair. Everybody come over and eat. Kristen, do you need food? Nah, no, you're good. You're good. Oh, Kristen, it looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way soon. Aw, she has a good reputation. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub, Brooklyn730. Thank you very much. And oh, I got a bunch of hydrates too. I'm sorry, guys. I'll hydrate now for all of you. Oh, you were trying to summon a woohoo want. <laughs> if they go on a date, there will be a woohoo want. You know, they always get to woohoo on the date, usually, unless it goes really badly. Okay, yeah, Blair needs to go. It's getting late. It's midnight. What are you still doing here, Blair? After they all eat, then we'll send Blair home and we'll try to get Kristen and Buzz to go to bed. I don't know if Kristen... She's not going to be able to go to sleep. She's going to have a terrible day at work tomorrow because she's not going to be able to sleep tonight. It sucks. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll sing song too, Bob. That's the only words I know to the song. Then I just mumble the rest. Woohoo! Na 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 woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> Flirt, kiss, make out, then woohoo. Yeah, they have to build up to it. They always have to build up to it. Once they get to make out, you know you're on your way to woohoo town. <laughs> That's all anyone knows of that song. <laughs> oh, hello, what are you doing? I hope you guys are just. Don't flirt with each other, okay? Um, all right, let's put away, put these away, put these away. We can't waste food in this house. General Buzz does not allow wasting food in this house. Put away those leftovers. And Kristen's going to do the dishes. <laughs> Woohoo! Mumble, 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 mumble. Woohoo! <laughs> We do need a woohoo soundbite. That's a good one. Somebody add that to the list. I said I was going to make sound bites the other day, but I didn't get a chance to. I'm going to do it soon. I know we have a big list that I need to make. Uh, okay, so it's time for him to go to bed. He's got to get up and go to work in the morning, so go ahead and go to sleep. And then, Kristen, you can say goodbye to our guests. It's not proper. It's not proper for you to be in here with another man while General Buzz sleeps. <laughs> Hello, Bewitched. On your way to Woohoo Town could be a Sims. On my way to Woohoo Town could be a Sims movie title. Yes, I love it. Okay, Kristen, it's just you and me now, up all night. I guess we can use this time to work on some of her skills. I don't think she's prego, guys. I really don't. Uh, logic, cleaning, and mechanical. All right, let's study cleaning. Oh, she's watching the fish. <laughs> oh, it's when I feel heavy metal, woohoo, and I'm I'm uh, and I'm pins and I'm needles. I re I now that you say that I remember the pins and needles part. I remember that that's in the song. I love that song. That is a good freaking song. And did you guys know that that guy from Blur is the same guy from the Gorillas? Isn't that weird? Isn't that bizarre? I love the Gorillas too. She is 31. She is 31 years old. I know it's easy to forget because they sound so different. Yeah. Woohoo! I don't think her age is off now. Her age shouldn't be off. <laughs> you started defaulting all your clothes. I know it's a pain, but it is so worth it. It is so worth doing it. You only have to do it once and then your game is beautiful forever. You never knew? I knew because uh, Mr. Pleasant is a big fan of the gorillas and he's the one who told me that. And I was like, what? That's not the same guy, but it totally is. Yeah. No, it's not Radiohead. No, it's not the Radiohead guy who did gorillas. No. Radiohead guy has a very distinctive voice, which I love Radiohead too. Windmill, windmill for the land. Do, 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 do. I love that song so much. Ooh, I want to listen to that song now. <laughs> Alex.
Alex James from Blur is a cheese farmer? I think that sounds like a wonderful life. <laughs> that's on your workout playlist. It's a good song. It's a good workout song. Yeah. Comparing Radiohead to Coldplay. That's not a comparison. That is n what? That just angers me. <laughs> that's there's no comparison there. <laughs> Don't stop. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Oh, yes. I hate the Eagles. Don't you dare say that to me, Mike. <laughs> no, I don't watch Mass Singer. I hate those singing shows. <laughs> I hate them. I don't. I never liked Coldplay. Uh... You're in a Radiohead tribute band called Television Foot? I love that. That's awesome, Thomas. <laughs> Nickelback. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me shudder in horror. Mask Singer is good. I don't know. I can't stand those shows. <laughs> My hatred for the Eagles will never die. No, it won't. No, it won't. Okay, speed it up, Kristen. You're taking too long. You listen to Aqua? Is Aqua, the, are they the ones that do, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic. Made of plastic. <laughs> Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> You can brush my hair and dress me anywhere. <laughs> Copyright again. No, I don't think I sing it on tune enough. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, you know what? That's a good song, and I don't care. I don't care. It's a good song. <laughs> I like that song. Panky panky. <laughs> uh, Eagles are not a German band, no. I don't know what wind of change is. Eagles did Hotel California. Eagles did Hotel California and a bunch of other crappy ass songs that nobody likes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some people like the Eagles, but I really don't. I don't know what it is. Just something about it. Okay, you're taking... Let me speed things up here. Did I hear somebody wake up upstairs? Yes, Buck is awake. Um, He wants to get a skill point, too. Let's have him get some breakfast. I hate the Eagles. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I hate the Eagles. But you know what my most hated band is? My most hated band of all time is Journey. I can't stand Steve Perry's voice. I hate it so bad. I'd rather listen to the Eagles for 12 hours straight than listen to five minutes of, of Journey. And that is how I truly feel. <laughs> Kansas is way better than the Eagles, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Your music sucks big old balls. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, prediction is about if Kristen gets pregnant or not. Okay, let's check on little Floyd. Where are you? Oh, you're up too. Okay, good. He, ne he needs fun so bad, but he needs to do his homework. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna crush your little spirit into the ground. Go do your homework. <laughs> you must do it. You gotta get a good grade now, because I know what you're a teenager. You won't want to do your homework. I believe it was Joe was telling me there's a mod for autonomous homework, and I think I need to... Try and get that so my teens will do homework more. <laughs> you probably know other songs by the Eagles. You just don't realize it's them. <laughs> you love Steve Perry, Mary. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate it. I, I don't know what it is. I just can't stand his voice. Okay, you got to go to school now. 
You gotta go to school. Um, I like cl I like some classic rock if it's good. I, I just like if music is good, it's good to me. Like I don't ha I, I'm the kind of person like I can't say that I just like one sort of genre of music. I like all different kinds of music. I just you know there's only two kinds of music: the kind you like and the kind you don't like. I love some classic rock bands that I love: Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac. Those are two of my favorites. I love Bob Dylan. Early and late, I love all Bob Dylan. Um, so yeah, there's some really good, there's more than that, but those are just the ones coming to my mind. <laughs> Desperado, that's an Eagle song. That's all about all I can say about that song. That's an Eagle song. Buzz, what are you doing? You gotta go to work. Oh, he's getting ready for work, okay. He loves eat, drinking these instant meals. I think he's just like so, efficient he's like i don't have time for real food i drink soylent <laughs> the eagle song at my wedding was when we're hungry love will keep us alive <laughs> which is uh, i hate that song oh yeah bob dylan's a terrible uh concert <laughs> you don't want to see him at a concert <laughs> He's awful at concert. Oh, I gotta hydrate. Okay, let me hydrate. He's drinking WD-40. Okay, so he's going off to work. He still wants to be friends with Blair. Um, Kristen, oh God, Kristen, I have not been watching you at all. I'm so sorry. I'm just sitting here talking about music, letting you die. Uh, let's get you some actual food, honey. No, stop drinking his, you're drinking his leftover protein shake. Come on, get some food. <laughs> I love Nightwish too. I love Nightwish. I love old Nightwish with the old singer though. The best. Yeah, he hates, well, you know, if I, I don't blame Bob Dylan, I don't blame him for phoning it in at concerts. I completely understand how, why he feels that way. And I still appreciate his genius songwriting. <laughs> Let's get this bread. I should have served bread. That's okay. She's got subs. She ate half that sub in one bite. Did you see that? She's starving. What would my and Mr. Pleasant's reaction have been if the lady that played hot had hot played hot drinks at your wedding? I don't, I probably would have loved it. I loved hot drinks the first time I heard it. <laughs> yeah, I love old Nightwish. Yeah. Okay, come on, eat, gobble it down. Did she miss work today? She did. <laughs> How did she miss work today? She has no vacation days either. You know what, we just have to, we gotta do some self-care. She's taking a self-care day. Oh, Kristen. <laughs> she farted right on my head, did you see that? <laughs> Play hot drinks. We're already past our five-year anniversary. We're almost at our 10-year anniversary. We can play hot drinks at our 10-year anniversary. I love Tom Waits, too. Well, I love... Actually, I love Tom Waits as a person, and I love rain dogs. <laughs> His other stuff? Yeah. Let her rip, Kristen. <laughs> like, you need to take a self-care day, and she's like, oh, yeah. Letting it loose. <laughs> Renew our vows to hot drinks. We must. We must do that. <laughs> An eagle's cover of hot drinks. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, got another hydrate. Okay. Hey, Mama J, I'm fine. How are you today? Yeah, nobody's home. She can rip a loud one. That's true. Um, let's go ahead and get her ready. I'm gonna see if I can get her to walk to work late. She's coming in late today. She's no now she's tired Well, she's not pregnant. We know that um, I think I'm going to reset this door That still didn't work um, She's not pregnant. Oh, there's a light right here. That's what it is. There's a light right here. Let's get rid of that Now the door should close Let's see. Well, resetting it didn't do the trick. Maybe when somebody goes through it. 
Never gonna let you down. Never gonna give you up. That's backwards. It's supposed to be never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Um, go to sleep, Kristen. That's all I can say. Her work hours are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So she did miss work. That's okay, though. She's got to get, we've got to get her sleep schedule back on track. So I'm not going to let her sleep all day. I'm just going to let her sleep. She's taking a little nap. Buck is doing terribly in school. And Buck brought uh, Tiffany Riley home from school. She's a townie. We're just going to let Kristen take a little nap. That's it. And Buck still does not want to do his homework or anything. He's going to be turning 17 today. I, I need to actually... He should be turning 18 today because he didn't age that one day. So I think we need to go ahead and add the college now. And maybe I'll just go ahead and, and well, he didn't roll the want for college, did he? Oh, he might not be going either. None of my strange town Sims want to go to college. Have you guys noticed that? Nobody wants to go to college. I'll let him try. I'll give him one more chance tomorrow. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, he's he's cleaning the bathtub. That's he's having he's getting fun from that. He loves cleaning. <laughs> Straight Town is not that ambitious. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, use the bathroom and then go down here and join your your new friend. Watch some TV. Let's wake Kristen up. She's been asleep for long enough. And she wants to gain a logic skill and a mechanical skill, but she also needs to have fun. And I don't think they have a chess table. No chess table. Uh, you know what? We need to hire a gardener. Let's go hire a gardener because their yard's getting pretty bad. <laughs> Hot drinks plus never going to give you up equals chef's kiss. Maybe college there is terrible. Maybe it is. Oh, he's is he watching weather? I love that. That's his hobby. So you go right ahead and watch that weather. And we're going to hire a gardener to come clean up the front yard. Yeah, they'll roll, roll once if there's no existing college. Yeah, they'll still roll it. Do you require assistance with your gardening? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You don't need a college to get the ones, but I do already have a college attach but you don't have to they'll still get the ones <laughs> there's not a mod to show the ceiling it just shows it's not a mod there's you just got to click this little button right here called toggle ceiling <laughs> yeah we do have a college attached i'm gonna attach another one uh, i'm gonna reattach it so that we have uh townies in it We'll invite the headmaster eventually. How long do we have till Floyd ages up? We have five days still. So we've got time. Wow, Kristen does not like Tiffany Riley. Floyd is Floyd has slightly better grades. I'm so happy. He's got a C plus now. Because he did manage to do some of his homework. He needs fun so bad though. We're gonna have to uh, have him go like watch a movie or something. And he brought Sari's Beaker home. He brought Sari's Beaker home from school. I bet Cersei only sent her over here to spy and get, get some uh, intelligence. We're going to have them wa watch a children's baby because he needs fun really bad. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Oh, she's having an aspiration failure too. Yeah, she's she's not doing so hot. <laughs> she's not doing so hot. Um, let's ask her to join. Did he make it to the TV? Why is he still, why does it still show him at school? Oh, he's got to put his stuff down. I see your commercial break. Um, I don't know. I think it has to do uh, with your graphics. Because I don't, I don't do anything special to get my neighbor's houses to look like that. It, it has to do with your graphics and then probably your graphics settings. So I have everything on high. Um, I have smooth edges all the way on more. And then... Also, I have, where is it? In game options, I have view distance on extra large. 
neighbors on, decorations on, clickable neighbors on, fade and fade distance off. So that's really all I do. And that's how my that's how my hood looks. Um, okay, is he going to get his watch his movie and then let's invite Ceres to join him and then we'll do a commercial. Ceres, where'd you go? I lost her. I lost her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's at the fish tank. Ah, uh, hi, Rocco. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's ask her to join so they can spend some time together. He wants to jump rope again, but his fun is so low. He doesn't get enough fun from jump roping, so I'm going to have him watch a movie just to fill his fun up real quick. And all right, let me stop so we can do a commercial. Uh, oh, where's the Discord? Where's the Discord? I'm not even online on the Discord. Oops. I usually try to go online when I'm streaming so people know I'm streaming, but sometimes I forget. Um, what is this? The music Vest commercial from 1985. Okay, we're gonna watch this. It says latest fashion. Uh, music Vest commercial from Naomi. I don't know what this is. First, there was the transition. No, hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And here we are. Okay, you guys ready for music vest? First, there was the transistor radio. Oh, we could have them play the red hands. That's now, a good there's idea. Music Vest, the only fashion and personal sound systems currently sweeping the country. Music Vest is designed to provide you with high oh, quality no. stereo music oh, wherever Lord. you go, whatever the weather. No. With Music Vest's waterproof speaker system, you can enjoy your favorite music, whether you're exercising, riding, golfing, fishing, or just hanging around. Music Vest is both elegant and versatile. Be the leader in your crowd. Order your Music Vest today. No. Call 1 800 562 Hold on, hold on. Music Vest is both elegant and versatile. Be and we'll get it in, in your crowd. Order your music vest today. It just has it just has speakers on it. <laughs> just blaring your music. Where does the music come from? Is it just the radio? I need more information. <laughs> I need more information about this. Thirty four ninety five in nineteen eighty five too. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Not sold in stores. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the music vest with us, Naomi. That's really something. <laughs> awesome sound, latest fashion. I, I know I'm shocked it looks that compact too, Max. That's a good point. <laughs> um, oh, thank you so much, Melancholy, for gifting a sub to Isabel TV. And I'm sorry, Isabel, I didn't see your beg for gifts up, but you got one anyway, so <laughs> thank you. No, it's not washable. It couldn't be washable. No. Yeah, there's probably some big box protruding from the back they don't show. You're probably right. I need, you know what? Let me, I want to look this up. I want to see if I can find any more information about the music vest from 1985. Probably not. All I can find is the commercial. Um... No, there were more commercials for it. That was not the only one. That was not the only one. Oh, somebody's talking about it on Reddit. A vest with built-in speakers. I don't know. Nobody knows, y'all. Nobody knows. <laughs> I I, I want to know more about this, but I can't find anything else about it. So besides what's on that commercial, I guess none of those exist anymore. They didn't make it. They didn't make it to the 2000s, to the 2020s. I heard somebody the other day refer to it as the 20s again, and I was like, we're in the 20s. That's so weird to hear. I heard somebody say that or write that or something like something about it's the 20s. And I was like, it is. It's the 20s. It's the roaring freaking 20s again. But when you hear that, like personally, when I hear the 20s, I think 1920s, roaring 20s, you know? But so to hear that was so strange. <laughs> roaring 20s number two. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Uh, thank you so much for the two month prime sub, Fabio AGC. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> they're not roaring. They're not roaring. It's the twenties have not started out well, have they? They've started out quite badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> let's check on our children. You know what? Somebody said red hands, and you're absolutely right. Let's have him play red hands with Ceres. Uh, play. You can't play red hands with each other? What, do they not have a good enough relationship to play red hands? What the hell? General Buzz wants to bring Tank home. Okay, yes, he's gonna bring Tank home from work today. He brought a friend home from work. He brought his own son. Pandemic 20s, yeah, that's what it is. The lockdown 20s. <laughs> Aw, he brought home Tank. Tank's hiding from the, the helicopter. Uh, and let's check in on General Buzz. He just needs to pee really bad. Then he's good. He's good to go after that. I'm gonna unlock Be Friends with Blair. So maybe he'll want to spend some time with his actual family. And Kristen, uh, she's doing all right, I suppose. She still wants to go on a date. Maybe she, maybe she and uh, Buzz can go on a date now. Tank's here. Tank's here to watch the kids while they go on a date. She's a little bit hungry, um, but we do have a restaurant. They can go eat at the restaurant, so that's what we're going to do. It's time for them to get out and have some romance of their own. I am worried about Floyd, though. He's not doing so hot. We got to get that fun up. We're going on a date. We're going. We're going. She wants to go on a date, so that's what we're doing. Um, all right, let's go ask her or have her ask him actually since she's the one who wants to do it. She's gonna go ask him. Um, ask on date or no, 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 yeah, ask on date and then they're gonna head over. Date, but no, woo -hoo. well, if they if they want to, she she missed work today. Would you like to go on a date with me? Yes, I would. Oh, she wants a car. Oh, wait, not anymore. She briefly wanted a car. Uh, so they want to dine out. So let's she or he wants to dine out. So let's go and walk to lot. Where is it? <laughs> can I not walk to lot? Why can I not walk to do I have to call? I have to call a taxi. Call a taxi to come get you. Hurry up, your date time is fading away. <laughs> um, I have a mod where they can ask family members to babysit. So you can do that with a mod. I have it. Uh, but I don't need it because Buck is here. But we could still ask. Where's Tank? Is that him? No, that's Buzz. Oh, there he is. Um, ask to watch kids. He's going to ask to watch kids. Hey, can you stay here and keep an eye on these guys? I gotta go romance Kristen. I like, yeah, I like how General Buzz gets hair back when he goes to work. Okay, we're going to the Dirty Melba. <laughs> this is our first time going to the Dirty Melba, so Tank is babysitting for them. It's very nice. It's a toupee. Here they go. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, eight months at tier one, Olya. Hello, Olya. Welcome back. How are you? Long time no see, but I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> Hello, Laura. Thank you. Um, the mod is called... I don't know. What's the mod called, guys? Ask to watch kids or something like that? That's the... I don't remember exactly what it's called. Somebody will tell you in chat. I know somebody knows. He wears a wig, yeah. <laughs> is it the famous Olya? It is, it is. We're actually uh, have a sim in Strangetown named after her. Little Ollie is named after her. Wait, is that in Strangetown? <laughs> no, it's not in Strangetown, but we do have one. I think it's in Sims 3. I forget, I forgot where all my babies are, y'all. I'm sorry. Here's the Dirty Belba, everybody. I think we did such a good job on the outside of it. I really love how it turned out. I really love how the Dirty Melba turned out. 
Tank, yes, Tank and Rip do have children. Um, I'll show you this. I'll show you the uh, tree. So, of course, here's General Buzz. Tank has two children, Odette and Mitchie. They are uh, twins. Odette and Mitchie are twins. And Rip has one child, uh, little Willis. Little Willis Grunt. Grunt. <laughs> I know there's there's a bunch of olias in my in all my neighborhoods. <laughs> there's olias everywhere. Uh, um, I'm gonna make this available for download. That is my, gonna be my next blog post as soon as I get time for a blog post. Um, I'm gonna do a, a CC free version of this um, for download. So that's coming. And when I say that, it'll be here in at least three weeks. <laughs> but I do plan to do it. I do plan to do it and I'll let you guys know when I do. So look at the outside, look at the back. I love it. I really love this, uh, how we did this. The inside though, I am not like 100% crazy about how we did the inside. Well, the top is good. I like the restaurant. Oh, we got Razor Waiter, y'all. He's here, he's here. Razor Waiter's here. <laughs> Eight to 10 business days. Thank you, Tristess. Eight to 10 business days you can expect to see this. Uploaded on the website. Um, yeah, Razor Waiters here. We've got Kevin Hughes and Ian Graham is our cook. We've got our Bernard Murray here. So the this is the uh, restaurant, and I actually like how the restaurant turned out. We we have two tape two small tables here if you want to eat indoors, and then if you want to eat outdoors, we have a whole all this outdoor seating out here, and uh, then we of course we have the kitchen. Then if you go, this looks like it is not the same color as the other windows, doesn't it? It really doesn't. I think I'm gonna have to check that. So then downstairs, actually, now that I'm looking at this again, I do like it. I do like it. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the eight month prime sub DM Rogue. So this is the this is a nightclub area. This is a nightclub. We've got a bar. Uh, we've got some tables here. We've got a dance floor. We've got a jukebox. We've got a photo booth. Um, we've got our bathrooms are down here, and then we have our... This is also how you get outside to the uh, hot tub area, the woohoo area outside. And then downstairs, this is the... This is where you really want to party. You come down here. So we've got speakers. We've got a pool. We've got darts. We've got a woohoo couch. The real party's down here. <laughs> Forbidden area. <laughs> hey, Chloe's coming. Chloe, Chloe's coming to enjoy the new uh, place. The new place. All right, so let's get started on our date now that you guys have seen everything. And let's see what they want to do. Let's see if they take advantage of the new strange town. The dirty Melba. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's Cersei's here. Cersei, what are you doing at the nightclub? Uh, Laszlo's here. Okay, but we gotta focus on this date. I'm just so excited to use this lot for the first time, but we gotta focus on this date. Um, all right, so he, oh, he wants to get picture taken. Aw. Yes, we're gonna get their picture taken. They wanna dance and talk. Um, do a little gossip and then we'll go get your picture taken. Do a little dance outside on the sidewalk, of course. That's what you do. That's what you do. Uh, yeah, darker flooring might look better. Yeah, that's true. I might still, I'm, I might still do a little bit uh, more to this. But anyway, we got it, we got it functioning for now. So at least the Strange Town Sims have somewhere to go for a date. Okay, do a little gossip, and then let's go get our picture taken. I thought he wanted to woohoo, but he just wants to get his picture taken, and I love that. This is an old fashioned date. <laughs> Come on, get in. And then we'll have Kristen get in behind her. She's trying to go play pool. And she's starving too. We're gonna have to get them something to eat. Join General Buzz. Get in, get in, get in. <laughs> get into the photo booth and take picture. Romantic pictures. They do not want a woohoo. 
<laughs> you want to go to this dirty shady club for our date, honey? You betcha. They're having a they're having a wild night out. <laughs> I do not have ADHD that I know of. <laughs> oh, yay, our pictures. Okay, where's she going? She wants, she really wants to go play pool. So we'll let her go down here. But we have to focus on this date. Slow dance. He wants to pull prank on her. That's what you want to do. And he wants to dance. Okay, let's do a little slow dancing. Uh, Slow dance. I think that'll fulfill both of their wants. Like, hey, honey, no pool. It's time to slow dance. There's no other Sims down here either. The uniform, his career uniform. Yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Besides the fact that it gives him hair when he doesn't have any. But other than that, oh, yeah, it's time to make out. It's time to make out. I'm going to stay on her so that I can see her needs. Um, Let's stop dancing. Stop dancing. Come on. Oh, hello. Okay. Thank you for letting me know my waiter's gender preferences. And let's make out. Oh, hello, Rip. <laughs> really? Rip is here? I bet I bet his dad is not very happy to see him here. <laughs> Rip is here. Chloe Curious is here. And some townie is here. They're going to play pool. Oh, they want a woohoo! Yes! <laughs> they want a woohoo. They want a woohoo in the car. They don't have a car. <laughs> yes uh, okay let's go we're gonna go through the casual menu and they're gonna woohoo we're gonna go in the hot tub so they can have some privacy um did she just introduce herself to general buzz wow being on this date must have lightened him up <laughs> they're gonna go woohoo in the hot tub there's nobody else out here uh, but these two so they'll have a little bit of privacy and remember, the chances of getting pregnant in the hot tub are not as uh, not as good as the bed, so... But there's still a chance. They're still doing it risky. Yeah, on his couch where the sun where the sun is would be weird. That's why I decided to get them out of there. I wasn't going to have them just get on the couch and start going at each other in front of everybody. <laughs> I know, I made I specifically made a lot of places to woohoo in this bar because I knew my all my sims going on dates here... We got to have a lot of places for them to go. Um, I don't know exactly, Derpy. I don't remember which one's higher. I don't know if it's higher than photo booth. Oh, what's happening? No, no, no. There you go. They're moving around. Come on. Long, long, man. They're not weird. I appreciate the long, long man, but something went wrong. <laughs> oh no! Okay, hold, hold up, hold up. I can't. I did. Oh man, I screwed that up. Okay, we're gonna try this again. You, you get out. I don't know what happened. My impatience. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Casual woohoo in the hot tub. Yeah, her bathing suit is really cute, isn't it? I think... I don't know where I got those. I think those came from Mod The Sims. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, what? Is she not... Are they not going to woohoo? No, they're going. They're going at it. They're going at it. They had to switch tubs. <laughs> they spread their fluid in both water, both tub, both waters, both tubs. There they go. There they go. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub of V, v Voynich. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for the eight month prime sub DM Rogue. I think I already said that, but thank you again. Double thanks. The cactus is more aroused than the general. <laughs> okay, well, we got the woohoo out of the way. They, 
she still wa ugh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. She still wants to woo in the car, but they don't have a car, so that's not going to happen. And they want to have a dream date, which they're already having. She's, like, really exhausted and hungry, y'all, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the date here. Um, they're having a dream date. I was going to have them eat at the restaurant, but I think she might be too tired for that. So let's just end it. Let's just end this. Let's put her out of her misery. Uh, in, in the date, in the date. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know you had a wonderful time. Of course you did. Oh, <gasps> she wants to woohoo in bed. I'm locking that in y'all. She wants to woohoo in bed. Sorry, those of you who predicted no. <laughs> They're gonna go to town. Okay, let's go call the taxi. Uh, where's the heck's the phone booth? Oh, it's over here. Go call the taxi. Let's get out of here. Oh no, why is that pink? Why is that pink? You see that? Why is that pink up there? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I don't know why that is. I thought we were doing pretty good. We haven't had any pink soup in a long time. The club is dead on a Wednesday night. Hey, are you? Oh, there's Tina. Tina's going to come over here and catch Rip down there flirting with Chloe. Um, we're going to go home. You know what? You know what just occurred to me, too? We need to ban teenagers. This is an adult club, okay? We need to ban teenagers from this lot. Um, I'm going to do... Where's my adjust? Where's adjust? Where's adjust? Am I losing my mind? I want to spawn the adjuster, but I don't... Oh, because I'm, I'm not... Oh, my God. I had the wrong sim selected. You guys are probably screaming at me in chat. Uh, we're going to do visitor controller, and we are going to ban age teens, and we're also going to ban children. Children and teens can, are not allowed. Delete adjuster. Uh, thank you so much for the eight months at tier one crawdad quarter. Thank you so much. And I can't save now, guys, because I'm on a community lot, but we'll save as soon as we get back. The taxi's coming. The taxi's on its way. I love Strange Town too. Um, I don't remember if I deleted my thumbnail cache. Probably not. So yeah, it's probably an old one. Okay, we're going home. There's Nervous and Johnny Smith are here. I love seeing which Sims show up on the lot. Are they going to go eat at the restaurant? Who's eating at the restaurant? Nobody. Oh, Nervous. Nervous is going to come out here and eat all by himself. On the balcony. I love you, Nervous. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Johnny's also going to come and eat by himself. Oh, we, we're gone. Can't see what's going to happen anymore. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, pink taxi isn't pink. Thank goodness. Nervous subject, my beloved. All by myself. <laughs> Don't want to be... Okay, so they're going to be gone for, like, hours. Let's check in on the children. Now that Tank is here. Oh, is Tank making dinner for them? Aw, oh, how sweet, y'all. Tank is going to make dinner for them. That is very nice of you, uh, Tank. Yeah, Buck is doing horribly in school. He has a D, and he has, like... No, you burnt the beans! You burnt the beans! He's making beans and rice. He can't even... You can't even make beans and rice. Come on. He's soft deep down, yeah. <laughs> the beans! The beans are burnt. My beans are burning. I walk for miles. My beans are burning. <laughs> All I want is for you to cook beans for me. <laughs> he forgot to stir. <laughs> I like beans. I like black beans. Black beans are good. Your Sims burnt mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, he made beans and rice for everybody. That's very nice. Where's the other child? Come over here and eat, kid. 
Stop feeding the fish. Okay, this kid has got to do his homework, right? He's, well, he's like got a C plus. That's okay. But he's gonna go, his grade's gonna go down if we don't get him to do this homework. I love when they all eat together too. <laughs> C's get degrees, that's true. But he's gonna lose his C and get a D and that's not good for a child. I love black beans in a burrito. I love black beans all the ways. <laughs> yeah, I love everybody eating at the table. The wind warms you up when you feel your slow wind. Wendy's, we always serve it right away. Add a smile and have a nice day. Okay, why is Tank cooking again? We don't need any more food, Tank. You've cooked enough food. You cooked enough food, okay? I. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is now. He's cooking again. Was he a Sims for Sim? I know, no kidding. Come on. <laughs> you have a mod so Sims need at least a C to go to college? That's a good idea. I let my D students go. I let my D students go. I just imagine they have to take some remedial classes. Okay, you, we need to work on a skill point for you. So what do you need? What are, what are you? What are you, Sim? He likes science, so maybe logic? Okay, let's have him go stargaze and get a logic point. Logic skill point. Maybe he'll get abducted. Where am I going? Where's the... There it is. You go stargaze, and you, child, after you eat your beans, <laughs> choke down those beans, and then you are going to go do your homework, damn it. Until you can't do it anymore. Do homework. More leftovers. <laughs> Look at the time. I'd better go. Ceres is leaving. She's going back home to tell her mother everything she learned. <laughs> everything she learned at the Grunt household. Trying to get those secrets for Cersei. Yeah, he just served potato soup again. You, you know, thanks, Tank, I guess. But we can go put all those. When Buzz and What's-Her-Face get here, we'll just put them all in the fridge. No, I don't have teen pregnancy. My sims have hard enough lives. I'm not going to give them teen pregnancy, too. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, he's going to stargaze, and this kid is doing his homework. Thank goodness. Come on. Nobody ever helped him, so he's, like, really slow at doing his homework. I Wow, the gardener just finished at 9 p.m.? Thanks a lot. We must have had our our yard must have been really bad. Yeah, teen pregnancy is he got his logic skill point. Teen pregnancy is rough. And now he wants to be friends with Tiffany. Okay, enough stargazing. Enough stargazing. You're not gonna get abducted today. I guys, I don't think he's gonna go to college. Tomorrow he ages up and he has we'll see if he rolls it tomorrow. Um it's 9 48 p.m. So I think the kids should be getting ready for bed. You, how much of your homework did you do? 80%, okay, 80% is good, we'll take that. He's gonna get credit for that 80%. Um, you can go to bed now. Poor child, I feel like I'm just working him to death. All he wants to do is jump rope. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Nate Mays, and let me save. I know you guys are telling me to save. Okay. <sighs> Tank did not go to college. Rip went to college. And he was the only one. He's the only one who went. None of my other Sims have wanted to go. The only thing I do that my Sims do for my Sims if they don't want to is their needs. Like, I, I focus on their needs first and then I focus on their wants. That's it. Otherwise, they have to want it. Okay, Buck, um, why don't you put away this food before it goes bad? What is this dude doing in our house? Why is there some strange balding man in our house? Get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody invited you. No, I didn't get a haircut. What are you talking about? My hair is exactly the same as it's always been. It's 
the open door, they just walk in. <laughs> Bald man, get the fuck out. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I try to, I try to refrain from dropping the F-bomb in my streams, but sometimes it slips. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, Tank is back. By the way, if you're ser if you're seriously asking me why my hair looks different, because I don't wear, I stopped wearing wigs. Um, yeah, I didn't cut my hair. Actually, my hair's grown. Cause it used to be buzz cut. <laughs> you didn't even worry and realize I said it. Okay, you, we need to take care of you. He's losing enthusiasm about spores. We need to take some time to work on his hobby, which he can do now since all of his wants are pretty much stupid. It's too late to call anybody on the phone. He can't earn any money. He can't play pool. He can't, well, I guess he could smussle. I guess he could smussle. What is this dude doing here? Why are there two townies in here? Okay, you know what? You need to leave. Why can't I select you? Oh, because that's Tank. <laughs> I thought that was Buzz. Oh my God. I thought Buzz was back. That was Tank the whole time. They look exactly the same when they wear those outfits. Oh, I look different from the other day, Moonchild? Oh, I thought you were coming here asking me, like... No, I, my hair's just growing out. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I misunderstood what you were asking, Moonchild. Um, but no, I don't... It's just growing. I think it's getting thicker, too. He came to stare at fish. Um, Buck, where are you? Why don't you tell these people to get out? Ask everyone to leave. He's eating our food and everything. Get out. I know it is very confusing. It looks thicker. It does, doesn't it? I keep telling myself like I don't want to get my hopes up that it's getting thicker, but um, yeah, I think hairdressers are open. I don't know. I don't go to a hairdresser anymore, so I don't know. I think they are though, in some places. Get out of here. You had to put the gorillas on. I know now. I want to listen to it too. Uh, okay, so you really need to go to bed now, child. It's like 1230 in the morning. Use the bath bathroom and go to sleep. Oh, he's not a child anymore. He's going to be a man tomorrow. <laughs> They're open in Chicago. I might need to see one, y'all, because I'm starting to get like, I'm starting to get like a mullet back here. It's, get it's getting like really long in the back. Um, I don't know. I might have to have it cut. But I, I just, I don't want to go get it cut because I'm afraid they're going to, who knows what they're going to do. Reset. Nobody will die from flies. It's very hard to get anybody to die from flies. I have never had it happen in my game. Ugh. Okay, delete that. Screw that. <laughs> get yourself a mullet. I'm getting one. It's. I mean, it's going to happen. I am going to have a mullet for a short period of time. There's no getting around it. When you grow your hair out from shaved... I mean, the mullet is going to happen. <laughs> you shaved your head and growing out was horrible for like half to, half a year. You look like a 12-year-old Russian boy. That's where I'm headed. That's where I'm headed right now. Like, it's starting to like, when I look in the mirror, I can see these little parts like sticking out. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> hey, if you, haircut. Haircut. if you want a mullet, but you're afraid you'll hate it, just shave your head. And then you have to have one, whether you like it or not. That's where I am. Uh, oh, they're back now. Okay, they're out there flirting in the front yard. Okay, let's get you inside and have you go practice your boxing. You need to you need to work it out. And you need to get some food, honey. I think that we're gonna have to woohoo tomorrow. How many days do we have left? Oh, we still have two days left. Let's go get some of those leftovers. At least there's plenty of food in the house now. 
If you grow a mullet, is it mandatory for you to wear a trucker hat? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna have an alternative mullet, not a redneck mullet, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have a quirky alt girl mullet. Not a not a redneck mullet. Uh eat some beans. That's what Kristen needs. She needs some beans. Nuts cross, she's gregnant. <laughs> A Joe Exotic mullet. <laughs> oh, not a Mountain William mullet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Biker clothes? No, I think not. The paranormal pack mullet. I don't remember what that mullet looks like. Hold on. Kristen, you're so gross. Sims paranormal mullet will that bring it up let's see oh yeah it does oh yeah that mullet that mullet is that like the miley cyrus mullet uh i don't know i don't know how i feel about that one you feel like you should pronounce mullet like mole Malay. That's the fancy way to say it. <laughs> Malay. I've got a Malay. <laughs> you want the paranormal pack mullet? You should do it, Nikki. Oh, can I show you? Oh, I already closed it out. I was just I was just being selfish just looking at it myself. <laughs> like screw you guys. Uh paranormal Sims 4 mullet. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Or I'll show you what I see here. Um, I think it's like, this is a re- somebody revised it. I don't know where- the, where's the original? I th oh, I think it's like this. It's like, is this is it. Yeah. Do I miss playing The Sims 4? Not really, but I think I am gonna finish my Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, or at least play it a little bit more on the stream. Um, that's all I got right there. I think that's it. That's your haircut? That's probably gonna be my haircut eventually. And let me check in on everybody. Kristen, she's in, she went to sleep. She couldn't take it anymore. Uh, General Buzz had to go upstairs and do a workout on his punching bag. Yeah, Leah. Leah. I don't like the converted Sims 4 hairs for Sims 2. They don't look right in the Sims 2 to me personally. I guess if you like replaced all of your hairs with it, it would be okay. But I don't feel like replacing all my hairs again. Yeah, Leah's legacy. Uh huh. I kind of miss Leah. I kind of miss Leah in uh, what's his face? <laughs> the weird kid she had. Zach. What was his name? Zach. I don't remember my kid's name. Nate. Nate. That's it. Nate. Our weird air Nate. No, they didn't die. Did they? God, I don't even remember, y'all. I don't think they died yet. No. I don't think so. Did they? No date, Nate. That's it. I kind of miss him. I thought maybe we'd play it on Wednesday. I'm bringing it back. Sorry, Fernanda. I want to play it. Oh, they did die? Oh, I blocked that out. I blocked that out. Lee is dead. Oh. And the reason why is because I don't want to leave things unfinished on my channel. Sometimes I have to take a break from stuff, but I have a lot of unfinished stuff, so I feel bad when I do that. Yeah. I blocked it out that she was dead. You guys are breaking my heart. You know what? I don't find the challenge as fun in The Sims 2, Max. When we tried to do a random legacy challenge in The Sims 2, I did not find it as enjoyable. I just don't like playing challenges in The Sims 2. I like playing my whole neighborhoods. Okay, that's enough, Buzz. You're you're all worn out. You're all worn out. Go take a shower. Actually, it's 5.11 a.m. Oh my God, go to bed. <laughs> go to bed! You gotta be at work in five hours. He's gonna have a rough day. 
You make it to the 10th generation is the finish of it. I mean, you could keep going after that if you want. Did you just bring flowers to your own house, Buzz? Or are you looking at the flowers? I don't... Okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's what I like to do, too. I like playing all hoods in this in the, in the Sims 2, and I like playing challenges in the Sims 4. I'm the same way. I don't know what the apocalypse challenge is. I'd have to look at it and see. Now, in The Sims 2, the only kind of challenges I really like to do are, like, world-building challenges. <laughs> like, build a city and stuff like that. But I don't like doing just, like, the single-family legacy challenges in The Sims 2. I just don't find it as fun. Um. Okay, this kid is awake. He still hasn't finished his homework. He needs fun so bad. It's 6.14 a.m. What can we do to get him fun really fast? Another movie, I guess? Go watch a movie about fairies. <laughs> we could move Tiffany to Sims 4. Poverty Challenge was pretty good in The Sims 2. Poverty Challenge works pretty good in The Sims 2. I, I will say that. We had fun with the Poverty Challenge. He's getting, he's getting a lot of fun from this, so that's good. Oh, we have too many newspapers? Where are- I don't even know where they are. I think it's time for us to hire a maid in this house. Yeah, I hate when my sims get rich, too. I like them to struggle. Oh, I hate the asylum challenge. I will never play that challenge again. I hate it. I despise it. I, that nothing has ever pissed me off as bad as that challenge did. I have The Sims Medieval, but yeah, I feel very meh about it. I feel very meh about The Sims Medieval, but I'll probably play it someday, either on a Let's Play or a stream. I will play it. Okay, that did not get his fun up enough. Why don't you play? You're gonna have to go to school soon. Damn it, you're gonna have to go to school soon, but you got 80% on your homework, so I'm cool. Go play SX3. And then Buck, you gotta get up too, buddy. You gotta get up too. Go take a shower real quick. You have very little time. You got like five minutes to take a shower. Hurry up. Hurry up, take a shower. And today is his birthday, y'all. So he has not rolled any want to go to college, and if he doesn't roll a want by the time he gets home, he's not going either. Okay, you, you gotta go to school now. Hey, but that filled his fun up, thank goodness. So maybe he can finish his homework when he gets home. You also, you're clean enough, go, go. General Buzz, oh, Kristen is up. Kristen's going to work today. All right, she's doing okay. They're, they'll probably have a woohoo when she gets home. And then General Buzz, you need to wake up too. You've gotta go to work soon, go take a shower. Where well, I'm getting everybody's needs back finally. I haven't played Sims 4 since the paranormal stuff back. That was the last time I played it. Um, but I do, I, and I always said I was going to finish my challenge, my Sims 4 challenge. I had to take a break because I got pissed off at Sims 4, but I might try and play it again. We'll see if, if, uh, if enough people want to watch me finish it, I will. If nobody wants to watch me finish it, I won't. You have an ongoing asylum challenge in your main hood for the townie, so Marissa Bidette isn't still an adult 100 Sims days, Sim days later. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, I haven't done the traits for Sims 2, no. I just haven't been motivated to, to do it, to be honest. <laughs> he can marry Jill, live in a trailer, and have many dusty babbies. Exactly, Max. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so he's heading off to work and everybody's gonna be gone. Well, I think this is the first time that we've had an empty house all day. Yeah, it's the first time. <laughs> Aw, thanks guys. I appreciate that. 
Um, I'll see. I'll see what the analytics look like. If it's like just a complete failure and only like twenty people show up, obviously I won't keep streaming it. But um, a lot of people always I get questions all the time, like when are you gonna finish that? When are you gonna finish that? And I'm like, someday, someday I'll finish it. <laughs> okay, Buck is back, and still no wants. How close is he to being friends with Tiffany? Oh, he's very close to being friends with Tiffany. So let's have him call her up. Uh, and he hasn't seen Jill in a while. He has not seen her in a while, but she's grown up. So he's kind of got to catch up to her. Let's have him be friends with Tiffany and see if he rolls anything from that. Next door, that's where Johnny Smith lives with his son, Ishmael. Okay, Tiffany, uh, just talk, just talk. We don't need the whole, we don't need you. We don't need you here in person. <laughs> okay, let's see what he rolls. Nope. He's not going to college, y'all. He's not going. As soon as he gets off the phone with her, we're going to have to throw a birthday party for him. I can't believe none of my Strange Town Sims want to go to college. I, I get the feeling this is this is kind of like a, a more working class type of place, type of neighborhood. Not many, ki not many Sims go to college here. <laughs> yeah, he probably doesn't want to go because Jill didn't. You're probably right, Holly. Yeah. Uh, their cat, that was Tank's cat, so Tank took it with him. Okay, that's enough talking. We gotta throw a party here. We, you can invite Tiffany over. You can talk to her some more there. Buck married Tiffany in your game? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so we're going to... This actually gives me time to fix the college situation anyway, so I'm kind of glad. Although I would have done it now if I had to. We're going to throw a birthday party unless he just randomly rolls the one at his birthday party or something. I haven't ever had that happen. I don't know what I would do. I'd be like, all right, go to college at your birthday party. We're going to invite Rip and Tank and Kendall and Tiffany and Jill. And is there anybody else? Can we, we can invite General Fuzz. He loves General Fuzz. Let's invite him. <laughs> Come on, bring General Fuzz. Uh... Let's see, who else is a young adult? Let me see, let me check my spreadsheet. I think that's it. I mean, we. I'm not gonna invite... That's good, it's good, that's good enough. That's good enough. Maybe General, I hope General Fuzz comes. Oh, you want pop music? Okay. Some of our party guests did not come. Who's showing up? Who's showing up here? David Gibson, I didn't invite you. Is nobody gonna come? Oh no, uh, Jill came, and Kendall, and Tiffany, and Rip. Tank didn't come. Hmm. Ooh, Floyd's grades are going up. Yes, yes, finally. Uh, come change this to pop. I'm so happy Floyd's grades are going up. That's awesome. He, he has a B minus now. Good for you, buddy. He's been like kind of ignored by his parents. So I'm like really happy that he's doing that. Oh boy. Well, he's getting himself some birthday woohoo, I guess. Or did they already? Oh geez. Okay, well. Yeah, get out of there before your dad comes home. Wait, that was, I think that was Tank. This was Tank's room before. <laughs> okay, let's buy a birthday cake, first of all. I don't know why I'm always surprised. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are they doing? I'm gonna put it in here. And so he's he went downstairs to turn it to pop station. If he didn't do that, they probably would have wooed. Let's start talking to your guests. Come on, this is a snoozer. Go uh, talk to Jill, first of all. Jill is his love interest. She's already aged up to an adult, but he hasn't yet. 
He's somehow friends with Kendall Lawson. She used to be a teen, but she aged up into this medieval gown, and we're just letting her go with it. <laughs> yes, you ruined it, Sesquadoodle. <laughs> That's Kendall Lawson. She's a townie. This is what she aged up into, and you know what? I, it's so fabulous. I'm just letting her keep it. Oh, because Tank was at work, but now he's coming home for the party. Yes. Yes. Okay, he's coming home for the party. It's 4.18, so I think we're going to have Buck go ahead and age up now. What are they? Wait, what are these two doing? Oh, they're being whistled at. Wow, wow, woo. Wow, wow, woo. Lady Kindle of Lawson. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love the dress, so I'm letting her keep it. Okay, we're going to blow out candles now. We're just going to get this out of the way so we can enjoy the party. What? You can't? Oh, we got to move that chair. Okay. Got to move that chair out of the way. There we go. Now. Now you can blow out your candles, please. Now that your dad's home. It must be awful in the desert, right? Ooh, I didn't think about that. She's walking around in the sands with that dress on. Okay, everyone's here. Jill, where are you? There's Jill. There's Buzz. Tank is here somewhere. Rip is here. There's Tank. Okay, the whole family's here. There's Floyd. Kristen's not here, but she's a stepmom, so it, she doesn't matter that much. <laughs> I imagine it being made from, like, a uh, polyester. It's a polyester party dress. She's an invested LARPer, that's all. Okay, Buck, you're aging up. So we're not even gonna have college this round, y'all. Wow. We missed it again. Once again, we missed it. Oh, hello. He's dapper. Look at that dapper young man. Um, who should we age up with him? I guess Tiffany's gonna age up with him. Come on, Tiffany. Time to age up, honey. <laughs> well, here he is. Let's get a look at him. Let's get a good look at him. Well, he's got a face. He's got a lot. He's got a large nose, but he's very interesting looking, and I like that. I don't like all my Sims to be to all look the same, you know. I don't want them all to have face one, so I'm happy with how he looks. <laughs> he does have very nice eyes. He has kind looking eyes. Yeah, he looks like a landlord. He has a lot of face. He has a very long face. I can't wait to see what his and Jill's kids are going to look like if they have kids. Um, so, yeah, he aged up into this suit. <laughs> into this outfit. And you know what? I'm going to let him keep it. That's what he likes to wear. You go right ahead. You go right ahead, Buck, and you wear that outfit. He's got a pocket square and a vest and everything. <laughs> he looks nice. Yeah. Um, so where's Tiffany? Because Tiffany's a Tiffany should be aging up right now, too. She's over here with the guys. Here she goes. Oh, Tiffany! Tiffany! Looking good, honey! Oh, he wants to get a job in business! Look what Tiffany aged up into! All right! <laughs> At least it matches. Oh, what did I do? Don't go here. He wants to get a job in business. I love that. Uh, he's going to be a businessman. <laughs> Pancake butt. Boots and pants and boots and pants. And are, is Tank trying to talk to you? Yeah, I think he was. Go give your brother a hug. He came over here to... To your party? I don't know. Stylish strange town. He wants to be in the business career now. He'll never get past level five-ish because he doesn't have a degree, but he can go pretty far. She looks like Joan Jett. Uh, Kristen wants to bring Jenny Smith home from work. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know how Buzz is going to feel about that, but okay. And Kristen's home from work now. Uh, his interest, his hobby obviously is science. It's weather. Listen to dirty joke. Tiffany's telling him a dirty joke. Tiffany. Get yourself an outfit. Get yourself an outfit. Uh, his interests. If I can. Oh, his turn ons are blonde hair and makeup. His interests are politics, entertainment, culture, fashion, food, environment. Dang, he's got a lot of interests. He's not interested in sports at all. 
or health that much. Yeah, politics, entertainment, culture, environment, fashion, and food. Makes sense. Makes sense. You saw Buck's five head? Uh, he needs to go to the bathroom. Get out of the bathroom, guys. Somebody's got to go in here. And let's see, 41. Okay, I need to reset his age back before I forget. I'm so bad. Hey, we're gonna get a discount on home furnishings. Thanks to Kindle. Thanks, Kindle. Um, so we're gonna set his age. Reset to max days. Buck. Buck Grunt. What a name. What a name, Buck Grunt. There we go. <laughs> Tiffany likes Kristen, does she? I thought they weren't getting along before. Oh, and this guy just showed up too. The party is a good time. I completely forgot about little Floyd. Okay, all right, Floyd, you need to go upstairs. There's no room for you down there. Uh, go to the bathroom, take a shower. We're gonna come down and get you some cake. And then we're gonna send you to bed, buddy. I'm so sorry. So now I think uh, we will move uh, Buck over here into this bigger room. He needs a double bed now that he's a man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two months prime sub fire fire for Yule. Thank you so much. Oh, heavy metal radio station. Okay, I'll get somebody to change it down there. Guys, you need to get out. Okay, okay, we're we're just gonna we're gonna put it into this. There you go. Thank you. And here, Kristen, you turn it to heavy metal. There you go. Everybody seems to be having a good time, though. Uh, you're doing fine. You want to buy a car. I'll walk it in. I'm going to wait till you save up a little bit more money, though. Did you just break the turlet? I think you did. And where are you going? Oh, he and Jill are going upstairs. He and Jill are going upstairs for a little adult time. Maybe. Yeah, she's following. She's following. He's already making himself at home in the new bed. <laughs> oh yeah, make her selectable. Exactly. I need to make her selectable. Um no, they didn't they didn't get to do it the first time. They didn't do it the first time. Oh no, she just keeps getting redressed. Oh, well, that didn't, that didn't happen. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, I'll make her unselect. Oops, good time. I'll make her unselect. Uh, maybe because it was the party was ending. I think it's because the party was ending. Don't say that, Mike. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to say that. Stage fright, yeah. Oh, well, here they go again. Oh, no, Floyd, get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. There they go again. Ooh. Let me make her selectable again. And they're going to... Okay, I think it's going to go through this time. <laughs> now they can finish. There they go. And he's going to bed. She needs to go to bed as well. And little Floyd, he's going to bed after he has his cake. And then the only ones up are Buck. Oh. Hello. Hello. The only ones up are Buck and Jill. <laughs> Paul, well, Paul was here? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I don't know what he was doing here. He's cheering his dog. No. Okay, there they go. His log won't burn. <laughs> his log won't burn. There they go. There they go. Yeah, he was checking up on her. Casual woohoo. Okay, and now I'm going to make her unselectable now that that's as soon as it's completely over. Okay, and she can go home whenever she wants. Buck is going to, is he going to wake up? I thought they would sleep after. Okay, if he's going to get up, then I'm going to have him say goodbye to her. And then I'm going to have him look for a job. It's 9.49, 9.50 p.m. on your birthday. You need to look for a job, son. Yeah, they've woohooed before. Uh, let's look for a full-time in the business career. 
when he was a teen and she was the same age as she is now, then they woohooed at her birthday party. Yeah. Right after she aged up. Uh, look again. Journalism, no. He's thinking about her. Aww. Massage, no. Oh, I keep forgetting to take those careers out. Damn it. <laughs> Tourism, look again. Business, yes! How did we get so damn lucky? Business! Uh, yeah, level one, he's gonna be a mailroom technician, 80 bucks a day, he'll take it. He'll take it. Yes, yes. He'll take the job. And now he wants new clothes! He wants new clothes! Well, we'll have to get him some new, he wants a different outfit. He thinks he's too fancy. He's too fancy for Strange Town. Uh, he also wants a skill point, but you know what? Let's just let him get some sleep now. He's gonna have to go to work tomorrow. No, he's off tomorrow, actually. Uh, but let's let him get some sleep. Oh, I okay. He sleeps there now. He still wants to sleep in his old teenage room. <laughs> he feels underdressed. Yeah, I think it's hot. It's about to be spring, so maybe he wants a cooler outfit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the five months at tier one BPOS. Thank you very much. Who am I playing as? I'm playing the Grunt family, if that's what you mean. We need a maid too. He wears a suit to feel above Strange Town and aspire for more. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. He likes the color green, so we'll have to get him something in the color green. I think he we're still going to get him something fancy. He's a fancy pants. He'll wear like a button down or something. He's not very, I don't think he's very casual. And he just re-rolled his once. I don't know why. Should be going to sleep. Why are you waking up? Oh, because it's 6 a.m. Oh. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Let's go get some breakfast. Clean that up. And get some leftovers. And somebody needs to hire a maid in here. Uh, General Buzz, why don't you hire a maid? Call service. And you will get you ready. They need to, they still need to do their woohoo too. She still wants to woohoo. Malinka. <laughs> Uh, maid service, please. Come on over and clean up our house. We desperately need help over here. Yes, please. Thank you. That's, oh, Ayana Dallas. We're not getting Genesis. And, I, okay. Whatever you want to do now, Buzz, I guess. Eat some beans for breakfast. Yum. No, don't eat those old stale chips. Go get some food out of the fridge. And let's check on Floyd, too, because Floyd, we got to keep him doing his homework, but he's hungry. So let's get him some breakfast and then he can go up and work on his homework uh, for a little while. Beans for breakfast sounds British. It does. It does. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a thousand degrees in here. I told Mr. Pleasant not to let me get too hot. He's not managing my temperature well enough. <laughs> I gotta text him. I gotta text him. Turn off the damn heater. Why do you have the heater on? <laughs> Genesis sounds like a name the goss would have. He might not be home. It is cold outside, yeah. It's, it's been cold. We got snow yesterday. I was like, what the hell? Are you kidding me? I'm texting him so hot! Exclamation <laughs> point. I, I hope he doesn't get the wrong meaning from that. <laughs> I referred to myself as Mr. Pleasant like I'm a sim he's playing. <laughs> the first time you heard the name Genesis was on the real world. I don't know that I've ever heard the name Genesis besides in, in The Sims. <laughs> he 
thinks now I find him hot. You're looking so hot in there, yeah. That was probably not a good good way to put it. I don't see him doing anything, so I don't think he's home. Um, all right, General Buzz. You need to, I don't know what. Are you off today? Oh, he is off today, okay. He wants to talk about his hobby. Go talk to Kristen. Go talk about your hobby with her. Go talk about your hobby of sports. And Kristen's doing fine too. So, so I think we can get these two, after they talk about their hobby a little bit, get them back in the bedroom. Buck is having a great time. He was uh, cleaning the shower. He's very, very clean. He's very, he's max neat. So he's always cleaning and he gets fun from cleaning. <laughs> Phil Collins. Yeah, Genesis. That's the only thing I know about Genesis is the band. Okay, they're going in the bedroom. We're gonna make this happen. It's just a casual woohoo, though. It's not a try for baby, so. And I don't. She hasn't shown any signs of pregnancy from their woohoo at the uh, at the bar either. Okay, you. You are off today, also. So. Use this, and you need to have some fun. So I'm gonna have you go watch the Weather Channel. Just. Turn it way up so you don't hear the sounds coming from in here. <laughs> uh, we're going through casual woohoo. Just, ca just a good old casual woohoo. Being so dull, you get fun from cleaning. I don't know. I, I can get fun from cleaning. Like, I like to clean out a closet or something. Satisfying to me. Clean from the toilet, not so much. The turlet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to make it downloadable as soon as I get a chance to work on it. Yeah. <laughs> you love cleaning? I don't, I don't mind it. I love organizing too. Me too. Yeah. Hey, Saki. <laughs> you cleaned your room today and it felt good. Okay, Buck, what are we going to do with you today? Uh, you know what? I guess he can go down to the strip mall and get some new clothes. That's what we'll do. He, his fun is all filled up now, so let's walk to lot. Let's go get you some new clothes, buddy. He wants to look good for his new job, y'all. He wants to look good for his new job, and I don't blame him. These two are just sleeping away. You better wake up. Wake up. Oh, she wants to public woohoo, locking it in, locking it in. <laughs> we need another babby. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I hate cleaning up after other people too. Aw, thank you so much uh, for four months at tier one, Hannah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go to the strip mall. He's gonna go in. We're gonna find him some clothes, some nice, some nice clothes. I don't think he'd be too casual. Some business casual. That's how he's gonna dress every day. I hate cooking. In quarantine, I discovered I hate cooking. <laughs> I used to really like it, but I don't anymore. Oh, you're welcome, Hannah. I used to really like to cook. Like I, I had my own cookbook going and everything. And I don't know what happened to me, but something happened and I don't like to cook anymore. I don't know. Baking, I like more. I like baking, yeah. Okay, so he's here. Let's get him over to the clothing store here. And let's go buy some everyday clothes, buddy. Go, go browse around, see what they've got on the racks. Hello, Johnson. Johnson Pie, Jessica A. Body. Razor Waiter. Razor Waiter is here. He works, Razor Waiter works here and he works at the bar. He work. I, I imagine that he works here during the day and he works at the bar at night. Oh no, everything just froze. Why did everything freeze? Hopefully it's a witch or warlock on the lot. That's usually what it is. He's working two shifts at two restaurants. Oh, it froze because of this. Okay, never mind. 
Um, let's see. Let's look at outfits first. So this is the outfit he's w currently wearing. And I want to get him something. Like, I really think he'd be, he'd wear like, I don't know. I'll know it when I see it. I'll know it. I'll know his outfit when I see it. <laughs> All those witches and vegans with their Luigi, bo Luigi boards. <laughs> Uh, I think that's too casual for him. That doesn't look like him either to me. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Too casual. Wait, Razor Waiter's a broke college student. He needs these two jobs. Mm, I don't know. I like that. I like that for him. I'm going to throw that in the cart. As I go, I just put everything in the cart that I like, and then when I, and then I go look at the cart and decide. I mean, we could put him in something like that. <laughs> That's a little fancier. Um, or something like this. I think that's too much like his dad. No, I don't think he would wear that. Yeah, Jenny will love him. Sweater. No, I don't think these are these suit him. Uh, okay, let's keep looking. Nope, none of these. None of these. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna give him that sweater and khakis, I think. I think that suited him the best out of all of these. But I like to look at them all just to see. And if I don't find anything in outfits, then I'll go to my separates. Let's go. Because I have some stuff down here replaced and it might look nicer. Oh, there's that. That's a little... That one's cute. I'll throw that in the cart. I'm just imagining that he's trying all these on as I look through them. We're almost done. We're almost to the end. Come on. I know it's William Goss outfit. That's exactly what I thought too, Max. I don't think he would wear that. That's way too hipstery for Buck. With the suspenders and everything. Yeah, he had that as a teen. Yeah, he did. There's that one. Mm, I don't like that one as much on him. And I like to give my Sims a color, like when they age up, whatever color they're mostly wearing, like I make that their favorite color. And that helps me when I'm looking for outfits because I just discard everything that's not that color. And that really helps me with the outfits. Okay, so we've got this one, which I think is a bit too casual. I think I'm going to give him this one. I think we will get rid of these two and we're going to give him this one. Okay. And then let's go plan his outfit after he buys it. I love this so much. And Sims 4 could really take a lesson from this. Your Sim gets the item. They walk up to the, to the register and they hand over the cash and they buy the thing. I love it so much. I don't know why that's so hard for them to do in the Sims 4. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, so <laughs> why? Da oh, dang, you have all these outfits. Where did all these outfits come from? Okay, this is his new outfit. <laughs> that would require effort. All right, there's his new outfit. Now he looks like a businessman. Now he's all set for his new job. <laughs> he's got a sweater and those are like corduroy, corduroy slacks. Look at him. He's proud. He's happy. Look at that look on his face. He's like, yeah, I look good. I look real good. <laughs> Get yourself an outfit. There is, they don't go to the register in The Sims 4 at all. They don't, they don't use the register. They just grab the thing off the shelf and it goes ka-ching. Yeah, it's quite bad. It's quite bad. It's quite disappointing. And then if you play the business, you go you go up to the customer with a tablet and check them out. It's really stupid. Confidence is key. <laughs> and now he wants a jewelry? Okay. You want jewelry? All right, let's buy some jewelry. <laughs> I, I used to have that mod that made them go to the register too, but it was really buggy when I tried to use it. Maybe it's been improved. I mean, it was good. It was still better. Not earrings. Definitely not. It was good. It was still better than what they had before. 
Um, and I think I still have that installed, actually. Not earrings. I hope I didn't put an earring on him, did I? Uh, maybe a ring? Maybe he'd wear a ring? I don't know. What kind of watch? I don't think I have a watch. I don't think I have watches. Do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, it comes with watches. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? They updated it. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to I'll have to look into that again. Um, yeah, definitely a watch. Definitely a watch. Oh no, I don't like how it it's clipping through his sweater, y'all. No. It clips through his sweater. Oh no. Okay, that's not gonna work. Well, you know what? He could buy it and he doesn't have to wear it right now. He's gonna go ahead and buy it, but he's not gonna wear it. He didn't say he wanted to wear it. He just said he wanted to buy it. Yeah, we'll put it on a different outfit when he changes his outfit. There you go. He bought himself an... We'll pretend he's wearing it under there. He's got himself a nice new watch, a nice new outfit. Oh, and now he wants to eat uh, some food. Oh, and he's hungry too, so perfect. Let's go over and uh, get Razor Waiter to serve us. Let's see, be seated. All right, let's be seated at counter. When you're by yourself, I think you should not take up a whole table. Just go sit at the counter, you know? Do, do, do. Put watches on both wrists. What are you, are you gagging at Jessica A. Body? She doesn't look that bad, jeez. He looks like a suburb fam family dad. Yeah, that's probably what he's gonna be like. <laughs> He can wear it only informal. That's a good idea. We're all out of tables. Oh, did you see that? Oh. <laughs> do you see that? He should eat at the new restaurant. That's a great idea. We're leaving. We're leaving this place. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here before it's too late. I saw that pink. We're going to the dirty Melba. We're going to the Dirty Melba. Oh, no! Stop it! Stop it! Oh! Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. This lot has so many objects on it. That's probably what's doing it. Oh, no, I just saw a floating head back there. I saw somebody's pink floating head back there. We're getting out of here. We're going to a smaller lot. <laughs> no! No! I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we'll never escape the pink. Never. <gasps> Son of a... I know you guys heard that noise. I know you heard that sound. <gasps> okay, well, we're going back in. I don't know if it saved the whole getting his outfit and everything. Oh my god. We might have lost all that. You heard it. Rest in peace. <laughs> Go gently. <gasps> Go gently into that night. Into the night. Yawn night. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Uh, yeah, we gotta reload. I'm sorry, guys. We gotta reload. Here it comes. Hey, we got it, we made it pretty far though. Almost to the end of the stream. We only got 20 minutes left, 25 minutes left, so. You thought your own game crashed? Oh no, I'm so sorry. This sweater, yeah, it's really cozy. It's really nice. I'm actually wearing my pajamas today. I don't want to get dressed for you. <laughs> I'm wearing my pajamas. It's a pajama stream. It was too, it was so cold this morning that we couldn't go for a walk, so I just put my pajamas back on. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm letting the thing play. Same. <laughs> nah, it's not my computer. My computer's good. I have a good computer. It's just The Sims 2, and when I stream, it takes a lot of processing power. But when I'm not streaming, I never have these issues. 
pleasure once dressed in PJs. I told you I was a pleasure sim. <laughs> well, this sweater isn't my PJs. This shirt is my PJs. It's a, it's a, it's a Lion King shirt. <laughs> it's Lion King. And it's all like stretched out. I need some new pajamas. <laughs> okay, I see the uh, commercial break. All right, we're gonna do commercial break now. Let me see. Let me see what I can find. Do -do. Do -do. Uh, Mall Madness board game. Oh my God, I remember this board game. Do you guys, tell me if you remember this. Hold on, this is from Jody. I don't know, my computer is getting pretty old though. My computer, I got my computer in 2018 and I paid a pretty penny for it too. Um, but I guess in the, in the electronics industry, it's older than Methuselah at three years old. Um, okay, let's watch Mall Madness, y'all. You had this? I wanted this. Mall Madness. Oh, till you, you can't see it. I just disappeared myself. <laughs> oh no, I totally screwed up my webcam too. Hold on. So the button that I usually push to show you guys, um, the button that I usually push to show you guys the, the screen is whenever I'm on this scene, it's in the same place as my webcam button. <laughs> So I just pressed there, and then my webcam disappeared. Uh, I don't know why it screwed up my... Oh, woo! Hello! Hello! That was bright. Okay, now I'm back to normal. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know why when I turn my webcam off, it like reset my settings. That's weird. All right, here we are. Got your credit card? Small Madness. Mail at the shoe store. The shop till you drop game that really Better is not included. Mail at the fashion boutique. You get a bank account and your own credit card. First out of the mall with all this stuff wins. Small Madness. It's the mall with it all. Wow. You get your own credit card. It's te that That game was just training young girls that they need to be consumers and spend all their money at the mall. That's pretty, pretty gross when you look back at it now, isn't it? Get your own credit card. That really tough. Mail at the fashion boutique. You get a bank account and your own credit card. First out of the mall with all this stuff wins. Mall mad. I don't know, I find that extremely disgusting. But also I would have killed for this game when I was a little girl. I would have loved this. I would have loved it when I was a kid. Because I wouldn't have been able to see that I was being manipulated to spend all my money at the mall. <laughs> it's a capitalism simulator, yeah. It's pretty interesting, though. It, it's, it says a lot about the time. It says a lot about the time in the in the early 90s, late, late 80s. It was annoying to set up. I bet it was. I bet it was. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, they were honest about it. <laughs> Um, I would have loved to have it. The, another game that I, I didn't have this, but somebody I knew had it. I don't remember if it was my cousin or my friend, somebody had it, but it was called like Girl Talk and it had like a phone. It was a board game. Oh, what the hell was it? Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Do -do. Girl talk game. Oh yeah, here it is. Let me see if I can find a video of it. Let me go to YouTube. Yeah, I played that, True Mama. Yes, I did. The nightmare game where you put the VHS tape in. Yeah, you know, I have never met anybody who knew what that was. My cousin had that game and it freaked me out really bad when I was a kid and nobody else ever has known what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to look that up too. A uh, girl talk game. Here it is. 
I, I wish there was like an actual oh here it is here's the commercial 95 so I, like I when when, when I played this I was it was a lot earlier than 95 so I think it had been out for a while at this point playing girl talk two is more sophisticated what kind of girl talk girl are you? this is so the lame game, truth or dare <laughs> call a guy and tell him something gross never i'll take a zit sticker what oh we didn't have a phone i thought i had a phone with it kelly would never kiss and tell my first kiss sure i'll talk about it this is not the one i remember i a winner and a flirt a gossip and a boy crazy can we talk about this that's not the same one that i remember Okay, it just plays it again. I swear it had like a little pink phone with it. Oh, the phone one is a different game. Oh, oh. There's so many games I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have 409 videos. Holy crap. I didn't realize I reached the 400 mark. Um, okay, let's go back to Strange Town, y'all. For a few more minutes. Oh, dream phone. Oh, dream phone. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> They're all like the same. They all like blur into, into one game for me. It goes for a lot. A Luigi board game. That's what I need. Let's load up the grunts. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll check that one out too. Do, do. Dream phone. Yeah, the cemetery one. What was the name of it? Nightmare was the name of it. I'm going to look that up too. I remember this. I remember this very well. Atm atmosphere nightmare yes i remember this oh it's cr it was creepy it was very creepy my cousin had it i was so jealous of her but i got to play it when i was at her house uh there was candy land candy land was a candy board game it's for like little bitty kids. Candyland is for little kids. And then uh, Shoots and Ladders is another one. I know I'd like to play that now, True. I'd like to play that again now, the Nightmare game. Yeah, Elizabeth Bathory was a real person. Yeah, she was. Life, the game of life. That game sucks. <laughs> I never liked that game. I was like, this is boring. <laughs> the Clue VHS. Oh, that's cool. The Clue was fun. Clue was a really fun game. I loved Clue. I remember my mom like bought this whole box of used board games from an auction and it had Clue in there and it had a but it had like risk and a bunch of it had some sucky games, but it had some really fun games in there too. Um, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? You're getting home, you're checking the mail. Oh, he did, look, it saved it, y'all, it saved it. We got his outfit and everything, yes. I love Monopoly. I I was always the one who wanted to play Monopoly and nobody else did. I loved it. Monopoly's fun. Yeah. Mousetrap. You know what, you know another game I hate? Checkers. Checkers sucks. Checkers and Connect Four. So boring to me. It's so boring. I don't know. Maybe for like five years old or something. I don't know. <laughs> I hate checkers. <laughs> Scattergories. I love Scattergories. Oh, we used to play that all the time. That is fun. That one is fun. I hate chess too. I hate chess. Uh, personally. I don't really know how to play chess very well, but I, I'm, it's way too boring for me to even learn how to play it. <laughs> Balderdash. Yes, I love Balderdash too. Those are fun. Um, oh, you have one bolt with your stepmom? We're not going there. We're not going there. That's creepy. 
He has two bolts with Aaron Beaker. I, I like to check when they age up just to see. He has two bolts with Crystal Curious. He likes blondes. Except for Kristen. Uh, okay, let's... Well, I'm gonna let you check the mail, I guess, since you're already doing that. Oh, pay those bills, dang! Pay those bills! Pay your bills! I know, I don't like it when Sims play chess. When Sims play chess, I usually just like, go play chess and I don't, I won't, well, I won't mess with them anymore. Um, okay, let's go watch your fish. That's not like a fun thing to do. Watch fish. Watch. What are you doing to my fish, lady? Oh, she's cleaning out the tank. Thank you. Unpopular opinion, mousetrap sucked. I don't think I ever had mousetrap. Remember, don't wake daddy. What the hell kind of game was that? Don't wake daddy. <laughs> and then we used to have, uh... No, do not! Do not whistle at your stepmother! That was weird. That was weird. Kristen, you need to put some clothes on. You need to put some clothes on right now. She's going to eat. That was weird. I never played Don't Wake Daddy. I only saw the commercials for it. Oh, we had Hungry Hungry Hippos. I remember having that when I was like five years old. Yeah. We also had Crocodile Dentist. I think I've talked about that before on the stream. We've had Crocodile. We had Crocodile Dentist. Which was the stupidest game. It was really dumb. <laughs> Uno, I liked Uno. Uno's fun. Uh, okay, go. Did you go eat or what? Go get some leftovers. And Kristen, you really need to go put some clothes on. You can't be walking around in your underwear anymore. <laughs> I know it does, but I don't ever add Sims to the friend zone. If they want to get, if they want to ruin their lives, they can. Stop looking. Stop looking, Buck. Skip bow. Oh, I like skip bow too. <laughs> I liked Crocodile Dennis when I was a kid, but now I'm like, that game is dumb. Oh, Sorry's fun too. I like Sorry. Ah, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Blackie Shaky, for giving out seven gift subs. Thank you very much for giving gift subs to Ivory Wafu. Sin is terrible. K Baby 01, LJN369, Beyond Andromeda, Luke Conda, and Gibby Gabs. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blacky Shaky. Skipbo. <laughs> Not Skipbo broke. Skipbo the game. Uh, all right, you. I can't really do. Oh, he still wants to go out to eat, but I just had him eat at home, so never mind. He wants to meet someone new, be best friends with Tiffany. I guess go call up Tiffany. Stop watching your dad make out with Kristen. And you just kissed your dad again. He keeps kissing his dad, it's really weird. It's a family kiss, but still, I don't expect Tank to be, or Buzz to be the kind of guy who. Uh, who am I calling? Tiffany. I lo completely lost my train of thought there. Just, <laughs> just talk. Don't break the ice. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Remember Jenga? Jenga? A manly family kiss. <laughs> yeah, Pendrick. Yeah, Buzz has mellowed out a lot. He has. I mean, I don't know if it's age or what, but he definitely has. He wants to play with Kristen. All right, give her a tickle. What? You, you told me you wanted to do it? God. I like how he looked at me and went, what? <laughs> Um, all right. You still want to get a car, but I want to wait till they get a bit more money. Meet someone new, learn fire prevention. All your wants totally suck. Let's check on Kristen. Oh, she still wants a public woohoo. But we only have 10 minutes in the stream. I don't know if we have time to go do a public woohoo. I mean, I guess we could run over there real quick and do one. We could go, we could go do a real quick public woohoo. Let's get her some food, though, just in case. And we will have to check... If she hasn't shown any signs of pregnancy, we will have to check before the end of the stream so I can do the prediction. Nope, they're not trying for baby. <laughs> Unless they want to, but they don't want to. So they're just doing a regular casual woohoo. <laughs> 
as soon as she finishes her soup or whatever, I think she's eating soup. Uh, they'll go out for a public woohoo. Oh, he's making hot dogs now. Okay, well hurry up. Eat your hot dog. Oh, she's eating. She's eating a hot dog too. Soup and a hot dog. Okay, thank you for cleaning. We really needed that. Uh, why don't you go grab a hot dog too? Why not? And let's get rid of these flowers. We'll just sell those for fifty-five. Thank you. Yeah, it, she just has to get pregnant in this stream to, for the prediction. Yeah. It will count. Floyd's grades are slipping. No, Floyd, we worked so hard. We worked so hard on your grades. He went back down to a C. It's like so hard to keep his fun up. I just, he needs so much fun. I don't know what to do with you, child. Uh, and his hobby is jump roping, which gives him like almost no fun. So let's have him go play computer games. And then Kristen and, okay, they're ready to go out for one last public woohoo. Um, we're going to, I'm just going to have her walk to lot and they're not going on a date. They're just going for the woo. -woo. So walk to community lot. Hurry up with that hot dog. Uh, general buzz is going with you and we're going to the dirty Melba. <laughs> and they're going, they're going for one more public woo. -woo. Toy box doesn't give him a lot. Doesn't give them a lot of fun though. It doesn't give them very much at all, really. What when kids for kids watching movies and playing video games gives a lot, and watching cartoons too. Do do I think General Buzz is soft enough to have a gay son? I think he could have a gay son, but I don't think he would handle it well. Um, and Floyd could be gay. We don't know. We don't know yet. We won't know until he ages up. Okay, back at the Dirty Melba. You got one thing to do and one thing only. And that's a public woohoo. And we still need to try to get Floyd into public in private school too. Um, I don't know if we'll be, if we'll have to be able to do that this round or not. But we have, we still have a lot of time with him. I can't remember how much until he ages up, but we can do it if he's a teen as well. Okay, we're going through casual woohoo in the hot tub. Oh, jumping on the bed. Yeah, that's a good one. Jump, but it also gets there. It makes them tired too. But so does jump roping. And let's go down. There's Holly Anderson. Nobody's dan Nobody dances on this dance floor. I want to see somebody dancing. There's Barb. Barb is here. Benny Lucas. I don't know who that is. Razor Waiter. I think he's here. Uh, yep. He's here. He's here. It's the same staff from the other restaurant. <laughs> Let's make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do down here. Cuddle. <laughs> oh, that's right. It won't satisfy the one. Stop. 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 I always forget about that. They gotta go to the photo booth. Crap. Stop it! Is it too late? <laughs> no, it's not too late. Get out, go to the photo booth. Who's going in first? There you go. Now join Kristen. This definitely counts. No, we need to have somebody play the jukebox and then we can dance over there, but yeah. Uh, okay. Woohoo. There's a, there's a jukebox. So somebody has to play that. Did that count? Yes, that counted. She wants to public woohoo with three different sims now. Oh my god. Okay, public woohoo achieved. Let's go home now. Let's go home. We're going home. 
<laughs> I know you can't go through casual. You can't go through casual on the photo booth. So that definitely didn't get her pregnant. No. But she still could be. She still could be. Yeah, we can roll for it. We'll roll 20% chance. That's a good idea. Do, do, do. I clicked casual. I didn't see it on there. Did I miss it? I didn't think you could do it on the photo booth. Do, do, do. But we'll roll for it. It'll be same. It's the same thing. Uh, let me go to random.org. I'll roll one through a hundred. And if it's 20 or less, she's prego. 32, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I don't think you can either. Uh, 32, sorry guys. So unless she's already prego from the last time, which I don't think she is. Uh, we'll check when she gets home. We'll check when she gets home. And let's check in on the kids. Okay, are you, how's your fun doing? Not good. Oh, you had to take a dump first. You had to take an after school dump in the turlet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Casual menu only has bed, hot tub, and sofa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm just double check. I'm just going to double check just so everybody knows. I'm going to show that she's not prego or that she is or whatever. Play those, play those games, child. Hurry up and then do your homework. What did he do with his homework today? Mm, where is your homework? Did you leave it outside? I don't see it. What did you do with it? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Go do your homework now, please. And Buck, uh, you're doing all right, too. So I don't know if Buck and Jill are going to want to get married or get engaged or like what's going to happen there, but it's going to be up to them. I need to get him a desk with a desk locator on it, and then we'll always know where it is. I just really haven't done anything to this house at all. I'm trying to let them build up some money. Um, it kind of sucks because General Buzz, he doesn't get promoted because he's level 10, so we don't get those promotion bonuses. But we could get them from Kristen, but she has to want to work on her skills, which she does want to do now. Mechanical and logic. I'm locking both of those in. Oh, no, I can't. I'll lock one of them in. Which one's going to be easier? It doesn't matter. I'll lock in logic. She keeps rolling them, though, because she's a fortune sim. Okay, well, two days until Floyd ages up. And... I think this is our last day with them. And now that she's home, I think she's getting home, isn't she? No. It's gonna speed up until they get home. Yeah, they may not want to get engaged, you know? They may not, if they don't want to, they don't have to. Okay, Kristen's home, so just for everybody's peace of mind, we're gonna check if she's prego. So we're gonna go to pregnancy. Nope, she's not. If she was pregnant, we would have the option for pregnancy scanner. So, she, you know what? Do we even have a ACR adjuster? Yeah, we do. Um, what was I trying to check on here? Pregnancy scanner, normal? Nope. So no pregnancy, guys. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed, too. <laughs> it just didn't happen for him. So let me do the points. We're going to choose outcome. No, she didn't get prego. Complete prediction. There you go, guys. There's your points. I know. Too bad. Too bad. So I think we have we still have a little bit time of time left with the grunts when we get back uh, next Saturday. And then after that, we're going to the loner family. Wow, it's been a long time since we've been to the loners. We got AJ, Lola, and little baby Shannon. Uh, they just had a little baby daughter. 
So that's going to be fun to go play them, see where, see how their family grows. And I'm going to save here. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream, guys, right on time, 1 p.m. on the dot. Oh, and I also want to announce, guys, if you want, uh, we had a watch party for the original Pleasant View series in the Discord yesterday. And we're going to have another one tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, the same time I usually stream. So if you want to come join that in the Discord, um, we have a special channel set up for that. And Nathan is going to kindly host that for us and stream the videos. So come and check out the Discord for more information about that. I'll put an announcement in the updates channel with the time and everything. And, uh, oh yeah, I got more videos coming for you guys next week. And also, uh, we may be, we may go back and revisit our Sims 4 uh, legacy. So if you guys want to see that, maybe I'll do that on Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. Um, so thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. After Saturday, after my stream's over, that is my weekend time. So Saturday afternoon and Sunday, I do not work. So that's my only time off during the week. So I'm going to have a nice time off with Mr. Pleasant, and I will see you guys back here on Monday. <laughs> all right, bye, everybody.